Hello, 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 Crafty Angels. Vanessa here from Angel Rose Designs here on YouTube. And today I have May and I have KK with me. Say hi, hey. ladies. Hello. Where's Miss Penny? I gotta call Miss Penny. Why is she not? I hope she's okay. I hope nothing. I hope when she said someone died and it wasn't any. Oh. Hubby got me the SD420 DI. What is that? What is that? No, not. We are live. Hold on. Let me let me go to YouTube. Let's see. Oops. We're here for Saturday night shenanigans. Yes, ladies. We are live. Come and join us and if you Hello, don't Candy. you're gonna be missing out hello candy all right if you guys don't mind sharing because sharing is caring we all know that i'm sharing it now guys Miss Penny, okay, where are you? I have nothing happened. Her sister or no one for. I'm working on my journal from last night. I'm cutting out the elements for it. Hi, Miss Margaret. Hi, Miss Margaret. How are you? How's everybody doing? It's Saturday night. And we feeling all right. I was going to start splish splash. Splish splash. Oh I was taking a bath. Oh, it's all about a Saturday night. Do, 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 do. Huh? What was that? I can't speak. <laughs> she said spit spot. <laughs> see, I can't even see you now. Split. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to be with communication today. Y'all know it's just it's just me. Me being me. I think I had too much hours of sleep last night, which is not normal. Hello, Miss Paula. Hi, Miss Paula. Hello, Miss and Burn last night, y'all. Hi, Miss Carrie. Guys, share the video because because sharing is caring and because you guys care. All right, I'm using my little digital image or not image, my SVG that I said i was going to give out for those of you guys that like share subscribe to vanessa's channel and stay to the very end of our show today or our live today whatever you want to call it because i can't speak today obviously you'll get the file for this if you have any machines or you can just try to hand cut it um it's kind of hard to hand cut that um but you can try I can't see comments. Why can't I see, see comments? You can also join my group, which oh, is yeah. the join top group. of the um, chat. Hello, Miss Joyce. Joyce, 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 Joyce. And if Mr. Nightbot's playing good today, he'll do what he's supposed to do. As I was talking to my silhouette machine, it needs to behave and be nice because we don't tolerate bad behavior. It's not acceptable. It's not allowed. So yes, you'll get the poor. Uh, the, oh, someone please allow me to get it out. <laughs> you will get the passport folio, which has two styles. You got this style and you'll have this style, but you also get the little specimen pocket one too. So, but you have to like, share, subscribe, and also join Vanessa's group, which is Vanessa Rose, right? Angel Design group. It's pinned at the top. 
it's pinned to the top there you go and you also have to leave a comment at the end of this video and you have to stay till the end it's a lot of rules but if you have a machine it's totally worth it and then um kk's over there and you guys know kk also has given out free stuff she gave out some free printables last week was it kk week before the week before so yeah it's all in the group y'all it's in the group 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 It's my grungy mat, um, my rubber silicone mat. But it's, and then I have my um, coffee paste that I showed you guys in 2022, I think, to make, I think, before I left Wyoming. And then I want to use my expensive... Um, trying to get her. We don't know. We, we're hoping she's okay. We're hoping she's okay because I got a weird message from her. Something about someone passed away from COVID. And I know she's had a lot of losses. If you guys don't know, Miss Penny lost her mom. Then she lost her two brothers. Her one brother had just died in 2022, I think it was. Or 2021. I get confused. I think it was... 2021 end of 2021 beginning of 20 no i think it was end of 2021 anyway sometime he passed away so he recently passed away and it was really sad and heartbreaking so i'm hoping nothing happened because she only has the one sister alive i'm hoping nothing 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 guys nothing happened oh and then you get these little it comes with these little specimen um cards and then you'll also get the little file folder, a little cardi. I don't know. Let's hope nothing's wrong. Let's pray for that, guys. So we can't have anything happen to our Miss Penny. She's no, our laughter. She's she's like she's she's our. You know, she's our main uh, queen. Clown. Yeah. Of the lives. And if you're joining us on YouTube, iPad land over there. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. And if you're new, um, say hi to us and let us know you're new. Um, and I apologize. I didn't stay long yesterday, but guys, that sleep was good. I woke up at 222 and I was like, we ain't having this today. And then I went back and woke up at four something. See me, once I'm up, I'm up. I, I normally am like that, but because of my, I think my body really needed. Your body rest. needed that rest. Yeah, I was, I had emotionally been distressed. And I picked up something to make a clutch at um, um, Hobby Lobby. So, oh, and if you join Vanessa's group, um, comment and say you watch the video so we know who we're supposed to be emailing in the file to. Yeah, that's so true. What's up? What's true? Ah, for them to eat, to comment in the group to let us know that they're, they've been here, so we can, so you can send them the um, thing. The file. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I got crusties on my mat, and I like the crusties. You got the crusty musties. Yeah, I got the crusty musties. <laughs> the blue bloods. Look at that. The glue blue bloods. But that's Put that's what. Put yourself on big screen, woman. Hmm. Put yourself on big screen. K 
KK's over there cutting away. She's using the Cricut Explorer. Oh, guys, I got the Scan and Cut CM550 for $95. Pray, 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 because it's used. Hopefully, it works. Should work. I should be getting it. The lady um, is going to ship it on a Tuesday. I got it at uh, Facebook Marketplace. Oops. Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, press for Miss Penny, y'all. Yes, absolutely. I don't know what's going on. I've sent her a message. Um, I don't know what is happening. We don't know. Hopefully all is well. Nothing has happened. I know her sister was supposed to be in town. I believe that's what I gathered, but I don't know. Oh. oh, there goes Nightbot. Nightbot says, hi, Crafty Angels. Welcome to my channel. New and returning Crafty Angels. Thanks for your support. And thanks for watching and visiting with me. Yes, absolutely. So what did you end up doing for your birthday, Miss Carrie? Anything special? Did you do anything special? Look at that, the crusties. I like that. We'll try to contact her again after the live. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. And we'll keep y'all updated in the group. Mm-hmm. If you haven't joined it already, join it and I'll, we'll accept it. Miss Margaret can accept it too, so. No, but I like that background. So we're going to go with this one. Right, so Mae's it. talking to herself, y'all. I know. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, who's that? Who's that gibberish person? Y'all know I like grungy. Grungy is nice. Grungy is cool. Grungy, grungy. We need to do it. Hello, hey, uh, Josh. How are you? Who is that? A touch of happiness. Yeah. Hello. Welcome. Happiness. Who is it? He's a happy person, y'all. Aw. Well, welcome. It's nice to be happy. We like happy people. Dip again. Fast, dry, dip again. KK ordering me around, y'all. Fast dry. To I got to get my um, heat gun out. Welcome, Josh. This is his first time in here, so let's welcome him. Hello, Josh. Welcome. We are a happy bunch of ladies. Hello. Doggies, because we have a dog in the background, too, because, you know, I have a dog. Well, I Grand work till five, and my family wants to take me out for dinner. And I said no, because I had been ready for, wait, wait, ready for the live. So they Aww. picked up a bunch of food. <laughs> Party at Miss Carrie's house, y'all. Aw, she bypassed going out just to come and join us. That that makes us feel special. Aw, it thank sure you. does. She gave up her dinner to be with us. Mm, that's true support right there, y'all. Josh, do you like what do you craft? Do you make any types of craft? What kind? If you do, we'd love to hear. We love new people coming into the channel. Every Friday and Saturday we have um, lives. We're alternating um, between Vanessa's channel, my channel, me here, me, 
crafting on a budget. And hopefully soon. Uh, four cheesecake. Oh, my favorite cheesecake. Oh, my gosh. You gave up a cheesecake? No way. For us? No way. Um, yeah, every Friday and Saturday, we alternate channels. And then um, I'm drying these up, guys, and then... I love cheesecake. I haven't had cheesecake in a long time. I got to get my daughter to buy a cheesecake factory. I would be such a liar if I say I haven't had a piece of cheesecake in a long time. Actually, you know what my favorite dessert is? Well, one of them, because I have a lot of favorite desserts. It's um, de leche right now. I'm on a de leche kick. Yeah, that's me. Hobby, uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, yeah, Hobby Lobby sells de leche. H-E-B sells the best tres leche. If you live in Texas, you know what H-E-B mean, is or means is. Yeah, what it is. You would love to join. Awesome. We would love to have you. We welcome anybody. Everybody's welcome here. Yes. And Vanessa has a group. I don't know if you see it in, um, she just, Nightbot just put the link there. Um, so if you come in, uh, Tiger Orange, I just got this on um, Amazon. It was five something, I think. Um, Nightbot's yeah. working good tonight, y'all. If. Um, join her group you can get oh and nona is also she has a group called anything goes card crafting and also paula has a group um what is that may i love to get pastries and bread from there oh what is that you mean tres leche cake this leche is so good paula oh my god it is three milks cake um and it has like the whipped cream topping and it, they put strawberries and pineapples. Oh my God. It's just so delicious. But like a piece like that is like five bucks, but it's totally worth it. Like I kid you not. It is totally the best. Nani, I took your clothes out of the dryer. Did you see that? You're welcome. It's the best. It really is. You guys, you got, you got to get it, Paula. Got to get it. How has your week been, Paula? Lourdes, angel of goodness. Josh, I will let you join next time. That's me. That. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Hola, ladies. You made it. Yes. You Let love this leche too, candy. Isn't it delicious? Oh, my God. It is, like, the best. I don't know. I'm, like, I was torn between red velvet cake with that um, um, cream cheese icing, cheesecake, German chocolate, or tres leche. And... So far right now, it's it's a battle between red velvet and tres leche. I have no idea what it is, y'all. <laughs> it is good. Actually, it's it's just a cake. You bake a cake. I made one because they're like $5 for a slice like that. So 
498 actually with tax. Um, and so anyway, I ended up getting a box of uh, cake mix because you can, you, you, it's all just, you know, white cake mix or yellow cake mix. And um, then you take um, evaporated milk. Um, you can take coconut milk and you can take um, condensed milk, mix those all together. And then you pour it over um, once the cake is done and you let it sit in the, in the refrigerator. You can mix any milk you want, whatever milk you really want. You can make coconut milk. Um, I don't, I'm not particularly fond of the goat milk, but the store-bought goat milk, unless it's fresh goat milk, because I do love fresh goat milk, um, or gallon, you know, evaporated milk, your typical um, milk that comes in a gallon, and evaporated milk or condensed milk. One of those milks, you can mix three kinds, and then you put it, squirt it all over the, the cake, and then let it sit in a refrigerator for a bit. And then you can put another layer on and then squirt that on. And then, uh, then you put your whipped cream type. Uh, I can't speak today, guys. Whipped cream icing on top. It's so delicious. It won't last long. Where did Josh go? I don't know how to tell you what it tastes like but the cream cheese frosting all i taste <laughs> i love cream cheese frosting what does red velvet taste like it's just red cake it's just the cream cheese frosting that is delicious that makes it different it's just red it's just cake that has the red coloring on it but it's so darn good you know you can't you can't just it's just the cream cheese that makes it, it's the cream cheese frosting that makes it so delicious. It's, it's, it's one of those things. We can't say no to it. Just like you, you guys know, I tried to stay off sweets for a bit, but that didn't last very long. I failed guys. I failed. She didn't understand the assignment, y'all. <laughs> well, that's a horrible assignment for me. <laughs> I couldn't. She did not understand the assignment. I could not, you know, I can't say no to sweets. What can I say? You know, I'm, I'm bad at that. Sweets, me, it's just not, I can't say no. I just can't. There's no saying no to sweets when it comes to me. So, yep, yeah, that's me. It can be being too quiet over there. She's up to no good. She's she's constant she's concentrating. I'm concentrating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fact that she repeated exactly how I said it. I would rather have a plain cheese. Cream cheese and cheesecake. Oh, cr cream cheese. Oh, the cream oh. cheese. Oh. Have you ever had a blueberry pineapple uh, cheesecake? Uh-uh. Oh, my God. It's really good. Really? Yes, I, I made it. Cheesecake. Mm. H-E-B's blueberry muffins are delicious. I have to uh, absolutely agree with you. I love their blueberry muffins. Yes. Yes, your downfall. I love sweets also, and I am diabetic. Oh no! <laughs> That's not a good candy. combination. Yeah. <laughs> Homemade is so much healthier. <laughs> but is it though? Is it really that? It way? is. It is. It doesn't have all the preservatives and stuff in it. Man. Well, you know, I I have a. Um, weak spot when it comes to um, sweets. I can't say no and I cannot lie. That's me.
That's true, they are addictive. And they don't make it better for you because they just make it too damn good. You want you know what's another mm -hmm. thing, Paula, that you need to try from H E B? I don't know, you probably tried it because you I think you've lived in Texas longer than I have. But the tortilla ships from not the tortillas. I mean the tortillas are good, but you you have you do have to cook them um because they're not all the way cooked. As much as they want to say that they're fully cooked, that's a lie. Um the um tortilla chips, the sea salt tortilla chips or the plain tortilla chips that are freshly made in their bakery. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. I can just have sit down and have some of that with um some of their um um brisket cheese queso dip that you put in the oven for about 20 minutes with a little bit of milk oh my god that thing is delicious or their um spinach artichoke dip mm. why am i talking about food may how did you get that coffee mixture so thick okay miss carrie you should have you guys should have remember so this is um Brianna, bring me the clear glue. I don't know. You you were the last one to use it. The big old bottle. So I showed you guys how to make this. I think it was in 2022. And so what this is, and I made a new batch. Um, it's instant coffee and not that glue the big bottle of clear elmer's glue where is it I forgot. oh you think you forgot okay so we can make that in one of my videos remind me next time we go live i'll show you guys how to make it um but see this mat it's that silicone rangers mat i like it because it's almost like the gel press but not the gel press right and because it's kind of sticky in here what it does is gives me that that look see that and so i just kind of let it sit for a little bit and then i squirt it with a little bit of coffee mixture with alcohol this is coffee with alcohol this is instant coffee with glue You remember, yeah, yeah. There's there should be a video of how I did it too. So I use this glue. This is the one. So I use, as you can see, I use that much. It was quite a bit. I just did it this year. When was it? I think it was in April. I coffee dyed some paper with this because I didn't feel like baking. So yeah. And then we just dip it there, and then we get that, see? We'll dip it there, and we get the pattern. And now the printable I'm using for de to decorate my journal is from KK. It's KK printables y'all remember kk does do printables she's got all kinds of digital printables i'm trying to get her to sell them <laughs> she heard me <laughs> yeah, so funny. you got bionic ears y'all she's busy over there cutting and assembling and i should i tell him what it is or you're going to surprise them what you're do you guys can you guys guess what she's making I'm all done all the cutting now. I'm just putting it together. And she used the cricket, our wonderful cricket friend. Not. Tell them how <laughs> tell them how wonderful that cricket was. Tell them all the nice things you said about it. I told it if it didn't behave, it was getting false outside and getting wet. <laughs> I was gonna join my cricket. <laughs> you shall behave before it you get some rust. It shall behave and did it. Did it do what it's supposed to do? Yes, it did. Uh, I guess it likes it. <laughs> it didn't like to be told. It did not like to get rep reprimanded. 
charge. Look what Carrie wrote. Yes, something. Yes, yes. Something spooky in the air. Y'all, I was at um I was at Hobby Lobby and I saw all the uh Christmas stuff because they don't do Halloween. And I was so tempted to start my hollow uh, take it out of my mouth. All the Christmas stuff. But I was like, no, I haven't even started with Halloween all the way. I just got that one, one, two projects done. Now I'm still waiting on the witch that I'm supposed to be making. I'm so, I'm so tired of my cricket. I'm watching and looking for a brother machine. Okay. Um, so I went into Marketplace. Hey, Stacy, how are you? Hey, Stacy. Holla. Um, actually, you're in a Dallas area. So today I went into Marketplace and I managed to get the Scan and Cut CM 550 for $95 use, of course. Nona, I sent her a link um, because there was a CM 650X, which is the one that KK has, uh, more, their more advanced machine. But that was a little bit out of my price range budget wise. That was not within my budget. So I sent that one to Nona and Nona bought that one. But I believe someone around your area had a scan and cut in marketplace for about a hundred and some hundred maybe or hundred and some dollars. So you need to look, but make sure it's more than five, the 550. Don't get the one below, right, KK? And then KK uh, knows how to use this sucker because I don't know how to use this. They're, they're so much easier to use than the Cricut. That's just my opinion. It yeah. might be biased, but you know. Yeah, the Cricut is a pain in the butt. And the only reason I have held on to this Cricut Maker 3 is because I got a great deal for Christmas. It was my Christmas gift. And my husband said he ended up paying like $120 because it was from Marketplace um so yeah so it was a great deal you can't i can't beat that you know cricket maker three for 120 with brand new out of the box never use but i don't recommend it to anybody absolutely not do 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 i'm letting may do all the talking now <laughs> That's because I, I I was like she's she's like you slacked off yesterday, woman. I'm, I'm I'm punishing her so she can do all the talking today. You didn't show KK's printables. You show them KK's Hang printables. On. I'm gonna I mute to myself print them because I cut them out already. I have one new. You, you have I have one new in a box. I hate them. Which one? Which one do you have new in the box? A cricket. I love the silhouette cameo four by far. That to me is my baby sugar baby, sugar mama, sugar everything, sugar daddy, whatever. That's my baby. Um, and she and I have a love hate relationship, but she does what she needs to do, and it is my go to machine. Um, cricket, I think it sees more dust. I only do use it to test when I'm doing an SVG file, but about that's about as far as it goes. I don't design anything in Cricut because if you design anything in Cricut, it stays with Cricut. And we're not having that. I worked too hard for that, for those fools to take my designs that easily. May channel link is... Nightbot is just search for YouTube, not her channel. Can you drop her, drop your link, May? Hang on a minute. Yes, Cricut is in stores, but I don't know what it is. Ah, um, yeah, I don't. It, now, if you do have the Cricut Expression or the Cricut Explore, that one is a good machine. That, 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 that is a good machine. The Cricut Expression, I would have to say it is a good machine. What sucks about it is that you got to get that that cricket access, and it's worthless to me for designing aspect. Unless you're going to use your files, it's you know a okay. I just don't like it. 
I have no love for it. Yeah, get get a um get a pre, uh, silhouette. If you can get a silhouette. Sometimes Walmart has it for two hundred. I got my cameo for this March. I think it was. I'll have to ask Eric. We got it this okay. March because he got me the cricket for Christmas. But when I decided that I was designing, I couldn't really design. I was limited. So then I think around February, March, I got the cameo when um, I did a video on it. Uh, um, it had, yeah, boot, she frozen. had to be around February when Hobby Lobby did their clearance. I got it for $178. i am done with it all. I'm tired of messing with <laughs> Back to fussy cutting for Paula. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, we were trying, we were having an issue with fussy cutting the other day in machines. Oh my God, that's why I decided I'm gonna listen to KK and get this uh, scanning cut and she's gonna show me how to use it because I had the scanning cut DM that was gifted to me by several of the ladies, but that thing did not want to scan right. I, I could not get that thing to work right. Well, with this, with that, it you know it could have easily been fixed. I'll have to show you on the scanning cut. And, uh, so everybody else, if you have issues with the scanning, I'm going to show you where to check. Because what happens, you can get dust in it, and it'll block the scanner. So you probably just got rid of something that just needed to be cleaned. I went with the store stuff. Everything that right, I'll show you. Let me grab. Well, it was brand new out of the box and it would not scan right and it would not read right. And it was like, you know what? I'm not. Well, sometimes what happens is I want to show you the bottom of my machine. Let me hold my screen. Okay. You see this part right here? Mm -hmm. This is where the scanner is. Dust can get in there and mess up your scanning. And all you got to do is get a fiber, uh, one of those fiber cloths and just wipe it clean. And it'll fix the scanning. Really? Yeah. Well, see, this one is that DM, that um, scanning cut DM. The, yeah, the... It just still has a scanner in the bottom, just like the other ones. Really? Even if it was brand new? Yep. It, 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 could, it could be a little little hair that can get in there, a piece of paper. Someone want, uh, Stacy wants to link to my channel. Carrie, I would not recommend it. It's worse. It's my worst enemy. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me get her. Let me get my channel. Uh, I hope everybody heard me, Vanessa. I gotta fix the link. Oh, okay. Here. But we can teach you guys machines. Machines, I mean, between KK and I, we can show you guys how to use the machines. Absolutely. I want to get another laser machine. I really do. That's that's. I, I want to get back into using. I have so many files, three D files for like. Um, ink pad holder, um, glue caddy holder, um, um, the little, uh, what is that little glitter thingy, the stickle holder. Um, I have a 3D clock that's about 10 inches that I made out of MDF, cut out of MDF. That thing was amazing. Got so many of those that I designed, and I just need to get another machine. I, I, I really do. Start cutting chipboard again. You're welcome, Stacy. All right. Why is it? And guys, don't forget we're on next week and my channel. And we're hoping that soon enough, um, KK will have her channel, then we'll head over to her. But she does have a YouTube channel, so make sure you go subscribe to her channel, guys. Um, show her some we're love. To go, go live with her channel. Yes, and then we're not going to push her, but we're, you know, we're encouraging her. Um, she's talented. <laughs> you look at her, she's laughing at us like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I like her laugh. <laughs> Okay, I fixed May's link, y'all. 
And if anybody, we can do some um, Friday night for if you're committed to like maybe a Friday on your channel. I'm sub to all. Thank you. And um, if you want us to go to your channel, um, that way we can do like a YouTube hop kind of thing. Help. Go live on yours. Or if you go live, we can, you know, on a Friday, Saturday, we can go follow you guys. The more the merrier. This kind of gets people crafting on a Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday night. KK is too busy, canny, wonderful. I know, right? I saw her. She's she's like she's like Betty Crocker. <laughs> I saw her little sherry tomato. Not sherry. What were those tomatoes you had? I, I just had. <gasps> Guys, I had a tomato sandwich today. The tomatoes were huge. Of course, I didn't. I I don't have a green thumb like KK and her fresh tomatoes, but um, I had a tomato sandwich. Does anybody else like tomato sandwiches? I love. Them. I do. Right out of the garden. Yes, isn't that so delicious? Oh man, I got some from HEB. And guess what else I had? I think I told you guys right, um, because Vanessa said, "Ew, beets, fresh beets." Mmm. Beets are really good for you. Yeah, someone gave me at work yesterday some fresh beets. And I took it and sliced it up because of my coworker, the nice coworker, not the mean one. The nice coworker that I have. She's so awesome and we talk a lot about food. She told me to eat the beets fresh, cut them up and put a little bit of salt, just like that, slice it up, clean it and clean it, slice it and eat it. Oh, so good. That was my lunch and my dinner. Let me see this thing. Bread is very hard to eat. Yeah. And you know what? I Oh, you love beets too. Good. See, and I I try not to eat too much bread either. Um, and I try not to eat too much tomatoes because my, of my arthritis in my hands. It kind of flares it up or, more. But, you know, every now and then you want to have a sheet thing. Sheet day. Oh, you love beets. Oh, my God. You should see the ones that was given to me. Let me the ones that were oh that is so cool <gasps> well you assembled that pretty fast yeah i don't I, I need to put a little white in it but i need to put the other piece on but look at that guys that is so cool did she use it as a fast button. assembly i know oh you'll have to send me the file i want to buy that file that is so neat Put it in orange and black. Uh-huh. I, well, I want to see what it looked like white. And then uh, I want to get an idea of how I want to do the next one. So, yeah. yeah. That is neat. Oh, wow. And it, and it came with these two little small pumpkins. I thought they would be smaller than this because they would look really cute. And the inside with the white, you would still be able to see them. So I might, I might make these smaller. A lot smaller. Oops. Yeah, I got the tomatoes from H E B because I, you know, I shop at H E B a lot. Let me get a uh, light. Let me put a light. Tomatoes on a vine. Oh, those are, tomatoes from H E B on a vine are so delicious. So that's what I ended up having today. But guys, um, just looking at her beautiful pumpkin it is so freaking adorable. Right, and it, we'll put a light in it. Do you work that? That is so neat. I love tomatoes. There are some really good breads for diabetics. Also, uh, sourdough bread. Oh, I love sourdough bread. And pumpernickel are good if you do do not overdo. Uh, I don't think I've ever had pumpernickel. Okay. I've had sourdough bread, but not pumpernickel. Okay, my light's not going to work now. Okay, I'll put my phone in it so you guys can see it. Use my phone again. And look, guys, see that paper, like this big sheet of paper that I get from, I told KK since she's always cutting, this big sheet, you can get it at Amazon, 11 by 17 for uh, $22, 200 sheets, 100 pounds. That is so cool, KK. Oh, I can't wait to see it in orange and black. Mmm, wicked. <laughs> Not it's gonna be really pretty. 
But will if they don't have the ones I'm trying to eat. Oh. This is really pretty. I like their um, sherry tomatoes from HEB. I like I like all this. Uh, but sometimes their oranges are nasty. Their oranges, from, that is really cool. I love that. I want that file. Send me the link. I want to buy it. Okie dokie. Um, uh, HEB's oranges are horrible. They're always dry. I can eat the unleavened bread, but they are hard to find. I don't, I don't know. We have a bakery here. It's a German bakery. Been here for, I think it's the oldest bakery in Texas. Um, I'll have to ask Eric and everyone's already. That would be really cool. To talk Eric's about. already in bed. Actually, no, he's down there. That is really cool in black. Um, that is pretty cool. He's watching TV. He's not in bed yet. The hubby, hubby, I need lights. 911. Lights now. Oh, I know what I can use. Uh -huh. Oh, their peaches are good. Yes, their oranges are. Oh. Every time it never fails. It doesn't matter if you buy the single ones or the ones in bags. The ones in bags are even worse because they come, um, they come bad in the rotted or spoiled or whatever you want to call it. I can't think of words today. Um, they're bad in HEB. I would not recommend it. I need to turn light out. Is it dark there already? Well, I guess it's starting to get dark here. So you guys are like 8:47. Oh yeah. Dark there. That is pretty cool. That is so awesome. See, you guys got to get your machine so you guys can cut these files. Paula, if you need me to cut some of these um, folio ones and send it to you, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, I can send you some of these specimen and folio ones. And I believe this one is on sale right now. So is it? I, yes, it's on sale right now. The, the the actual price of it was ten dollars, but I think I got it for three. You um, know what? We should all put together one of those files like that and make it one of these days, like a house. Oh, that'd be cool. Wouldn't that be cool? Yep, I sure would. The cucumbers from ATB are are good too, and I've made um. Oh God, those are really really good. I love, like I said, I love a lot of the HEB stuff. What I don't like is the oranges. I just don't like their oranges. They're always bad. Yeah, if you want some of these, if you want me to cut you some of these files like these, let me know, Paula. I'll cut some out and send it to you. I sent some to Carrie and um, I send out to some of the ladies that didn't have machines. Because <clears throat> I, I get that big 200 sheets. Let me give you that link. Hold on. You guys want the link to that paper pad. Here it is. This is the paper I use to cut on my machines. And you can use it for anything because it's 100 pounds. Uh. I'm printing. That's why I'm not doing anything, y'all. There you go. Yes. Their, produce, their meat's good, too. Their meat. The only meat I don't like is like the chicken fajita meat in the pack that's seasoned. Oh, that stuff. It's like rubber chicken, fake chicken. I don't know what that kind. I don't know what kind of chicken that is, but it is not chicken. Their beef <laughs> like it is, it's delicious. May everything you're posting is coming, coming under my name. That's fine. It's your I'll channel. I'll you posting. There's the Etsy link, y'all. And there is the link to the paper pad. I, I get 200 sheets of the 11 by 17 cardstock. It's white, um, but it's um, 270 GSM, 100 pounds. It's really good. Her name is Brenda Fisher Reigns, and it's on sale right now. Let me see. I want to get it. You only got 16 hours left. It's originally $10. Uh, it's on sale right now for $13. Three dollars and fifty cents. 
I gotta go to the YouTube side. Hold on. And then the other one that I bought. Ready, go get it. This one, this one's also on sale. I want to do a house. I did, I did design, and Miss Penny, um, I did design a house one, a wicked Halloween house one, in 2017. Um, Miss Penny. Oh, that thing is so nice. Oh, oh my God! So it was ten dollars before. Yes, right. Oh, that's a good deal. Heck yeah! For three fifty now, it's sixty five percent off. Heck yeah! What else do they have? KK, what um, do you? I'm going to send the other link of the next one I had planned oh, on. The Halloween box is so cool. Oh yes, two sixty two for that one. Oh heck yeah! In case it needs one, y'all. This is four dollars for this one. I thought it was really cool looking. Which one is that one? Is that a? It's the where you would put it behind like a picture frame, and you could uh, use uh, foam dots or foam oh. squares. You put uh, fairy lights behind it and have it light up. Yeah, Paula, that is a wonderful. I mean, for the price, it's like twenty two dollars, something like that. I do like every three months I get it sent automatically to me. So I got a little bit of a discount on that because I did an auto ship. Um, but for 200 sheets, 11 by 17, 100 pounds. I mean, that is, look, I, today I went to Hobby Lobby and got the 65 pound paper because I needed to print because my other one was too. Um, I got this one at Hobby Lobby, 17.99. But I got it 40% off, so it was 11 something. But still, that price is a lot better. That That's haunted house, May. Which one? The one KK's got. I have a haunted house. I'm trying to find it. I in it. Okay, right here. I have this one right here. It's a 3D? Yes, this one's 3D. Oh, um, you'll have to send me that. I want a three. I want to make I, I this 3D. This is on uh cricket. Oh uh, they don't come with really good direction. I designed one in 2017. I just hey, I will tell you room. these two are really easy to put together. I've put them both together already. Really? Yes. And this one's called uh, let me see what it's called. It's called Haunted House number um M3A 43E. Let me write that in chat. It's somebody. It's called Haunted House. Okay. Let me office. look at this lady that had that coffin is really nice. Is it small though? Is that small? What size is that coffin? It's like a little treat box. Haunted House. Hound. M3. A four three B. That's for cricket. If Nani was awake, I'd show her this. This is so freaking cool. This is the um, one I was trying to do. Let me type it in. Look, KK with all them gadgets, y'all. <laughs> I think it's for the carriage. Oh, Miss Penny wrote to me. Wait, did I just see Miss Penny write to me? She did. Yeah. Miss Penny's listening to us. Hi, hey, Penny. Hi, Miss Penny. She does have my file. Look, guys, I got to share you guys. Look, this is, is that the one I just, is that, yeah, I think that's the one I designed. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm going to show you the one I designed in 2017, I think, was in 2017. Oh, why is it not coming up now? Present. Oh, here it is. We miss Miss Penny. Miss Penny, you need to tell us who passed away because we're confused about that. That's the one I designed. Okay. That's the that oh, that's, that's the file I designed. Uh. That would be fun to put together. 
Yeah. Uh, Miss Penny did this with her grandson. It's a file I designed. It did have the picket fence, too. Yeah. There you go. I just don't remember where that file is. It's Welcome back, problem. Josh. Okay. This is what I was trying to cut out, but I'm having... It, Oh, Mel I can never say. She was saying Mel Melanie Lane died from COVID. Yeah. Can you get on the panel? Everyone misses you. That's get what I on that panel. About. I sent you the link. The Victorian horse with a carriage. Let me see if I can get it to come off. Right there. It's going through the. Okay, why is it printing? Thank you. You're back, Josh. That is, oh, I love that one. Is that the one you were trying to build the other night? The one I was trying to get my Cricut to cut out, and it kept cutting the image straight down the center. Every I time I would cut a piece, it would cut right down the middle of it. Oh, I love that one. You need to send me that one, because I love that one. Um, I love Halloween. If you guys don't know, I love Halloween. It just shows you how some people decorated them, too. And Christmas, but do not like Valentine's. And I love Miss Patricia, but I'm not a fan of St. Patty's. That is so freaking cool. Oh my God. Yes. We need to make that. That's the one I was trying to get to do. We need to give Vanessa a machine so she can cut along. I'm printing right now. She's printing. <laughs> And then when you were trying to get the thing to Penny. Oh, hi, Penny. Where is she? I don't see her. Hey. <gasps> Miss Penny. How are you? I'm not well. What's wrong? Oh, you are savvy, Miss uh, Carrie. Anyone that can do hair is savvy. What's going on, Miss Penny? Talk to us, please. I just got to wait till I can get my medicine. Oh, your pain? Yeah. Aww. I'm sorry here. I did find a pharmacy that, that I can get it. I just have to wait till Monday to call my doctor and have them call it into a different pharmacy. Is he not wanting to send it? Is that what it is? Oh, no, 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 no. She's fine with it. It's just uh, I just found out yesterday when I was at my sister's. Oh. And it was too late that I reclosed. See, when you said she died from COVID, I was like, who the heck died from COVID? I was like, what? Who, what? <laughs> and KK's funny enough, she said the same thing. Who, what? <laughs> you freaked me out there. Oh. Guys, I'm going to use my expensive... Um, I want to mute myself, and then I want to use my expensive um, heat press to heat press this stuff. <laughs> Put those tools to work, girl. Thank you, Carrie. All right. Why are they making you wait for your payments? I don't understand, doctors. It's not my doctor. They, my doctor, called me in. My, when I went to the doctor, the doctor called my medicine into the pharmacy. So then the pharmacy said that I needed a prior authorization through my insurance company. Well, my doctor got got it uh, approved, and and then they waited a week and then told me that they can't even get the Dagon medicine. They approved it for the brand name, but Walgreens is saying that they can't get the brand name. So I needed to have my doctor call in generic. So I have them call in generic. And now they're coming back saying it needs that it needs a prior authorization. So, and then yesterday, my sister's uh, husband uh, called the CVS at Target. And they can get the brand name, which I'm already approved for. So I just got to wait till Monday to get a new prescription and cancel the one at Walgreens. That's just crazy. I know. It's just, and it's 
it's something I've been on for years, and, and and that's why it hurts so bad to go without it, you know? Yeah. No, we still to stay together. Miss Penny, everybody saying they hope you feel better. Yes. Paula said, hi, Miss Penny. I'm sorry for the men mess up. I went without mine for three weeks. They wouldn't work together to get my meds. That sucks. You know what makes it so hard for people who have their pain medication is a lot of these drug addicts have abused it so bad. So now they have to control them because of those stupid idiots, you know, people that don't use it and abuses it. Right. Mm -hmm. They are to at least give us a place. Yeah, to go and get a, give something that will uh, hold us over until they can get our medicine, you know? Yeah, it's not it's not like you're using it to abuse it. You're using it because you need it. Right, right. I mean, if I didn't have my other pain my my other pain medicine, I wouldn't be able to walk. I mean, I'm just my voice is gone. My stomach is upset. I, it's just a mess. We miss our little laughing uh, hyena. Yeah, I know, right? Mm -hmm. I want to make us laugh here. I'm not good at this, at this laughing thing. Mm -hmm. We'll tell y'all something make us funny. Laugh. You want me to tell you something funny? Tell uh, us something funny. We need to hear something well, funny. Well, was a challenging week. Not for last. Not for last. I was laying here on my bed. And I heard somebody knock on my back door. So I go out there and I didn't see anybody, but I seen a, a FedEx box. So I thought it was just FedEx dropping off the box, right? So I just sit it inside the door and I come and lay back down. And then somebody knocks on the door again. And I look out and I see Sierra out there in the uh turning around in my driveway and cooper's calling on the phone and said i'm here to haunt you i'm here to haunt you well anyway he he was knocking on my door running behind my car hiding so i couldn't see him but anyway they took me for a ride in their new car and you know what that car does You know what their new car does? Drives what? itself? Yeah, it does that. But it farts. It farts. Oh, dear. <laughs> it has got a whoopee cushion that you can turn on in the front. And Cooper was a pushing it. And I thought he was actually really had gas. Uh -uh. It was horrible. It farts. I've never seen a car that farts. I've never oh, heard of a car. What are they going to come out with next? I mean, my goodness. And we was going down the road and all of a sudden. <laughs> yes, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Lord have mercy. These prior authorization messes uncalled for. I agree. I agree. They make people suffer, y'all. My, my brother-in-law, he, he got really upset. He he said they should nobody put anybody through what I'm going through right now. I think they do it because of so many of those damn drug addicts. Excuse my French. <laughs> Who would want a car... Why would you want a car, that that in a car where it farts? A kid. <laughs> a kid. Mm. Something to entertain them, I guess. He's a KK's paper, Miss Terry. I'm trying to get the, my other paper packs. <laughs> I'm looking for specific colors. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, V, those paper are beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? It's um, KK stuff. It's their designs. KK, why would you want yeah, that? Yeah, I got me a whole KK phone. Yeah, I don't know why they would want that in the design of a car either. You would think they would have more innovative stuff than that. Right. Right, so they go come out with one that poops as it's running on the highway. No, it'd be nice if they had a toilet in there. <laughs> have a good night, Stacy. They Thank need to have so places much. to charge them. She can't even take it on a trip. Ain't nowhere to charge it. Crazy. Why would you want a vehicle like that? They got charging ports everywhere. They don't down here. Oh, wait. She's got a Tesla? Is that what she, she's got? Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Both things. We're, we're working on the Tesla stuff. Here, the Tesla. Here. Girl, that's expensive. That is. You more better have 24 to 100, ca 100 carat gold in the car before I pay that price. I think they got more money than they got Stacey. brains. Good night, Stacy. Good night. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. I'm waiting on my um, Amazon yeah, order yeah. with my Kim Holtz photo booth pictures. Come on now. Amazon, you're holding me up. You're holding the game up. I fibbed. I'm back. <laughs> y'all, oh, stay just fibbing, y'all. These are old Halloween papers right here. This is just a fibbing and a nibbing. See how pretty it looks like he's just making a mess. Huh? You look like you're just making a mess. <laughs> yeah. I am making a mess. <laughs> That's what you've been it. doing for the past hour. It's yeah, making I a mess. I crashed hard. I laid on, I put my head on that pillow and I was, it was game over. Okay, I fibbed, I'm back. <laughs> you didn't go very far, Stacy. <laughs> Are you painting you building they just build in Austin? The windows are the Tesla logo. No, I might my thing. Yeah. Uh Elon Musk asked everybody on Twitter if they would stay in a Tesla hotel. I'm like, nope. KK, what is that paper? I don't know. Uh oh, put her on big screen. Yes, put you on big know. screen. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> Well, uh, we need to see that. Oh, remember, it looks like, like um, Stanley Stanley area. Area. I don't know. Like 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 okay, well, like I do remember uh, Genevieve's Designs here on YouTube um, was doing a live premiere during Halloween a couple years ago. And they were giving this paper pack away. And I won. That's oh. I do remember how that's how I got this paper pack. I don't remember the name of it. Was it four o'clock? Huh? Was it four o'clock? Four o'clock. Craft o'clock. Craft o'clock. I, I don't know. I don't remember the name of it. I don't remember who the designer is. All I know is that she she had a, a live premiere. Yeah, and it looks like craft o'clock. Craft o'clock. But it's like really pretty. I love this. And I, I haven't used it. I've been hoarding it, y'all. Is it? Let me see. I don't think that's craft o'clock. No. Um, Is, it double -sided? Is it double-sided? Uh, some no. of it, yes. Some of it isn't. 
like the embellishments are only single sided, but like this, they're double sided. What paper is that? We're going to have to scan um, that. Go Google Genevieve. search it. Maybe if you scan it and put it on Google search. Let's see. Genevieve's. Genevieve's design. I want to do Halloween giveaway. I got to go check to see if my. Uh... Wait, was it this one? My yeah, it is right here. This is it right here. Let me see if it has the name. My name is Naya Gold. Oh, no, no, no. Um, may I have to look in the I love that paper. Don't forget. Today I'm doing the Holly Dawn for the mini album I made. Use the 39th Street Paper Collection. That's what it's called. 39th Street. Never heard of that one. Let's Google it. Google it. <laughs> Alexa, who has Alexa on? Siri. Okay, Siri, Siri. Hey, Siri. Can you search up 31 Night Street Paper Collection on Google? Okay, I find this on the web for 31 Night Street Paper Collection. Check it out. You're fired. Siri, you're fired. <laughs> She's fired? <laughs> yes. She, she looked up an address. <laughs> oh, my God. What's the name of it? 31 Night, Night Street. Hello. How are you, big? Good morning from India. Well, good morning. Good morning. How are you? We love, uh, look at that. We got a new person in from India. How amazing is that? Welcome. 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 See, I don't know if I, I can't want to find do it on Amazon. Amazon. Oh, here but it looks like a 49 and market or something, or Cartabella. No way. What? Um,. How much is I'm it? I'm ordering this. It's How on sale right now. Where? <laughs> hey, Kay, why are you doing this? We are good today, um, Big. It's Can on you... sale right now. Send us Yo. the link. Woman, send us the link. link. Hold Fingers on. Up. Calm down. You ready? <laughs> yes. It's originally $24.99. Right now, it's on sale, fifty percent off. What? For twelve fifty. No, -uh. yep. I'm dead oh, serious. I just heard the link. Oh man. Oh, that's uh, paper phenomenon is uh, oh, what's her name? How oh, it's a digital King? paper. It's a digital paper. You got to print it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. It's Kathy King. Yes, Kathy King. And what was it? Dinky Carlson designed that paper. Who designed it? Kathy King and Dee Dee Carlson. Catherine. Uh, it's acid and lignin free. Oh double sided. 12 by 12 double sided. May go to the digital collection, the haunting. To uh, was it supplemental? Oh, but the only problem with her, you gotta hurt. She, mm. I'm so pretty. She's tough oh. with her angel uh thing. Yeah, her, her angel, angel policy, policy. She is extremely tough on that. <gasps> oh my god, her hunt haunting supplemental. Oh my gosh, right? Isn't it pretty? O M G. Now, I wonder, would you be allowed to send it to someone to print for you 12 by 12? Or would she be like, no? No, she'd be like, don't ever even, don't even mention it. Just, she, she's, yeah. She, she, she watches everything. Wow. She had, um, oh, but that paper is so freaking damn ass cute. Gosh darn it. I can't decide if I want this one with that. She logs everything, Kathy. Or she, yeah, whoever gets her stuff, she follows you. And then, and then the thing about it is, 
um, like even that hidden hinge, she was trying to go after people for that hidden hinge. Hidden hinge for what? The hidden hinge for the books. Oh. Y'all see no paper here. This is not her paper. <laughs> Y'all see nothing. <laughs> printer, <laughs> that printer is amazing. Whatever printer she used to print that. Who Does are y'all talking about, though? Paper Phenomenal. Uh, Phenomenon, uh, Kathy King. Oh, uh, uh, so freaking pretty. Now I don't want to use it because. What you know, printer? You know, I wonder what printer they use to print that. That is amazing. She probably had it professionally printed. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, with this one. So Look at that. I don't like the candy. Because it's got a little sheen on it. It's like a semi-gloss. Yeah. And it smells funny. <laughs> That's probably the ink. No sniffing the paper. I don't know. What's her name? Smells like Kathy, whatever. Her paper, that haunting one. Look at one. that one. That, that one a good photo cover. That one almost makes That haunting, even her um, digital collection, the haunting, it's $15. Though. I don't know about that, but for digital, that's a little pricey for me. I would think she, it's originally $30 for digital. Would you guys pay $30 for a, digi a digital? No, no. no. I would pay the 10 only because it's 12 by 12. Yeah, I would I would not pay because I'm printing this on my own. I mean, it's gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Like if they need to make this and I mean it's gorgeous, but it's not something I haven't seen before. Like okay, I've yeah, this is not gonna work. I'm not gonna do this. It's absolutely it gorgeous. But I don't know if I would pay that kind of money, like not for digital, because I have to print and that's that probably sucks up a lot of ink. We have to use our own ink and paper. Yeah. Like I would not, I would not, as beautiful as it is, I would pay, I would pay $30 for a paper pad. Mm -hmm. Because I've done that for Crafters Consortium and others, but definitely not for what? a digital. Right. But if you think about it, um, but you can you pay it. more for the ink, the paper. The electricity. I know. And I mean, and the time. but I mean, there's a positive thing to it because Miss Margaret is still here. So there's a pod, there's a, there's a pro and a con. The, the pro is that you can print over and over if there's no, if she doesn't have anything on the angel pro policy, because she's a little strictler. She's strict on those things. The con is, is that you're using lots of ink. You gotta have a twelve by twelve printer. I do. That's my next investment, a twelve by twelve printer. But still, I mean, oh, that God. is pretty pricey, don't you guys think? Would you guys pay for but it? I can't. Get, you can't on my twelve on my wide format printer. You have to buy the ink cartridges, which is very expensive. And what brand do you have? It's the Hewitt Packard, but you still can't get it. Don't you can't get on the it, they don't put the wild formats on their ink program. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about paying that kind. Of, I mean, it's gorgeous paper. Don't give me wrong. I just don't know how I feel about painting that. I, I, I would, I would, I would be okay. Hold on, I gotta go see my Amazon. I'm gonna make my second design. So muting. Okay. I mean, that's a bit steep since we have to use everything out, out, out of our stock, you know? I need it. I'm getting ready to cut. Amazon came. Amazon came. Amazon came. Amazon came. Amazon came. Let's see Amazon what came we, and went. 
Yeah, let's see what's in the box. Ooh. We got Amazon opening, y'all. We'll put her on the screen. She is on the screen. Oh, I've got there now. Okay. Question Is that worth it to you? It would be if it was a little bit cheaper. It w I got rollers because my hair is getting long and I want to do rollers on my hair. So I got two Me packs. Too. And then I got. <gasps> what the heck? You didn't get what you wanted. No, it's all open. Look, it all fell out. Aww. The package is broke. Well, wow. it was overstuffed, and that, that's a good thing, May. That's a good thing. And I got that. But you know how much I paid for these? Oh. I paid $7.99 for these because I didn't want to drive all the way to San Antonio to get them. Right. And then I got these. I think I paid $20 for this one. I mean, I think uh, what, uh, Genevieve sells her is the same, about, about the same price. What? She's got her printables. She's got paper now? Just for her templates. Oh, no. Her print, her, I'm sorry. Her printables are just, no. Mm -mm. No. Ain't happening. We got the photo booth. I'm not, I would not pay that kind of money for it. I think once there were like $75. God. I like to get her collection of um, uh, booklets to do like uh, the ephemera box and stuff like that. Oh, look at the little girl. She's cute. Well, May's got one of them, Vanessa. A what? Ephemera boxes. Ephemera boxes? Oh, it's an ephemera book. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I This is what I thought for ephemeras. I got lots of these. Look, I got this from this lady. Hold up. Lady from Houston that I bought out all her stuff. Hey, there you go for a design, woman. I don't want that one. One with pockets. That'd be one in here with pockets. I knew I had some with pockets. So I got this tons of these little 12 by 12 things from the lady with these fillers. And these would be good with the little Velcro so they're not falling mm -hmm. out. So I thought I used this. I got several of these. I have a whole bucket of this. Dang. That's what I thought for my ephemeras. Die cuts and stuff like that. Yeah. If I get down to sit down and do it, it's it's about making time to do all that. I'm gonna find. one right there in the middle is me. This one? No. Back two. This one? No, that's a me. No, going back. There. That one? <laughs> yeah. Looks like you? That one looks like my grandmother. My mom's mom. Seriously, there's a picture of my grandma that looks like that. <laughs> Good night, Candy. Good night, Miss Candy. Thank you for joining us. Good night, I like Candy. I like this one. I'm Victoria Designs has some nice printables too, but she's getting expensive too. 
Victoria Designs have some of her digitals that are ex super expensive. I I I, I thought that. I, uh, but usually she gives you a seventy percent discount if you order from her. But there was a time she wasn't doing that because she had one that was almost a hundred dollars, and it was beautiful. I mean, she's a super talented. But uh -huh. I thought for a, I love this one. But for the price, I was like, yeah, no. She's doing print. Uh, yeah, but she gives you like three hundred sheets too. It's like that one that we got, um, Penny, remember? Right. That she kind of jipped uh, us off, and then she says, don't print them, because we couldn't print them, and um, we were supposed to continue, have a lifetime. Oh, that one's pretty. I like the color. I might go with that, too. Um, she said something about we couldn't That's print them. That's why I'm afraid to do the collage club. Why? Because you you can you can buy into a year program or a lifetime program, and I'm I'm got burnt on them things that you're afraid to do. Yeah, we got burnt on that one because after we paid the fifty dollars, and then I had given her that's the one that that's the one that I bought that one lot. Pen Miss Penny, remember? She sent out two boxes supposedly. The second box never got to me, and then she asked. She says it was returned back to. To her, and I was stupid enough. You to pay another, another shipping. shipping. Yeah, and I did, and she never shipped it. She blocked me. And then she well, said, "Somebody we, said she's she's still selling." Yeah. I don't know. She is selling on Etsy, but her family her family came out because her aunt her aunt and her cousin reached out to me because I had posted about her. And they said that she, they've been trying to keep track of her because she stole from the grandmother. I mean, she was not a very nice person. She's not a very nice person. I mean, she was pretty foul. Uh, she thought out. She she fussed at me one time. Thought I was threatening her with a gun. I'm like, what is your problem? What? I never threatened you with a gun. Why would she say that? Crazy. Maybe because she's done stupid things like that to her family. Because from what I've been looking in the mirror, yeah, she's threatened her family bad. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take somebody and threaten on them to shoot. You know, I just think, I mean, that's just not even my, it don't even enter my mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why would you risk yourself going to jail for threats like that? Right. Well, I do that. I don't I'm gonna have to make like my even my worst enemy. I still wouldn't do them like that. I'm gonna come in here and design this just a little bit. I'm gonna go back in and make that square just to fit this perfect. But for now, since we're gonna put vellum in, I think that'll be good. But I am gonna make the square to hey, fit. Hey, how many smaller. sets did you purchase of the photo book booth? One That's set. One set. This is one set. It's um. It was seven ninety nine from um, forty pieces, but they you can use your your coupons and if you go to Joanne's, um, you can use your coupon. I just didn't want to go all the way to San Antonio to pick it up, That's so I paid. It popped because it was full. Yeah, I paid, and it it I got I ordered it this morning because I wanted it for tonight, and I ordered it this morning, and I just got it. Um, I mean, it wasn't bad. I didn't have to drive it. Time to pay for gas. I huh? I didn't have to. Good. Right. I think that for for me not having to go all the way down there, that's a lot of images. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to go in here and use this one probably. I'm going to go and adjust the squares on these to make it fit the two by two. I don't know what size these were, but I'll make it. Somebody make it. said they was working on their two by twos a while ago. That'd be cute right there. Yes, yeah, a 20. Margaret's in a 20 swap. Oh, okay. What is a 20? What is that? Two I heard that. It's a two by two. It's like an inchy. Remember the inchies? No. The one by one? <laughs> no, I never. I a never. Three, a three is a trenchy. <laughs> I never. I, I don't normally do swaps because I've gotten burned with swaps several times, so I stopped. I know. 
Yeah, it's a two by two piece of cardstock or piece of paper, whatever, that you alter. So, hey, May, you should have got in on that with them, them that you said you got last night through that company. <laughs> Oh my God, the stuff was crappy. Uh, I, still, I, I need to get to. I need to ship it back. I need to get to the post office, so I might have to have Eric to ship it back because I'm like, no, I am not. He, he, do you guys want to see it before I ship it back? Uh, it's horrible. No. It is so let's horrible. It. it is. It is. Did you say let's see it? it I said horrible. let's see it. Oh, I'm like no. <laughs> it's it's really horrible. It's, uh, Vanessa wants to see it. Let me go down and get it in my bag. It's in my work bag. Hold on. So I took it to me. I, I took it because I thought I'll stop by in the post office on my way, but I didn't get out. And I could have gone today, but I was being lazy because I didn't want to go all the way down to that side of town. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. really bright there all right so this is the i don't even want to give them a so they contacted me to do a promo on them and i was like oh, all right you know i'll promote if i get free supplies i don't mind as long as it's good quality i don't want a cheap joke i rock the box and so then it opens up. Your presentation is nice with the box. These are pretty okay. These are okay. The flowers, right? You got a little tape runner. Not much tape in there. Very little. Um, then you got this. Scrap pieces of, I think it's what, three by threes? What size is that? Actually, two and three eighth inch by two and three eighth inch. It's just like little scrap pieces of paper they cut out. This one's a little bit bigger. But look, little scraps of thin pieces of. I can work with that. Yeah. All you can do with that is make a master board. <laughs> look, Margaret says junk. Like, I was going to say, that looks more like they gone posty notes. Yeah, but they're skinnier than posty notes. Oh, and that. Okay. Oh, wow. All the, all the, they cut something out. All the, but look, it's everything's cut out. That's it. Okay. That's that one. Hi, Miss Allie. Kay. Hi, Miss Allie. How are you? And then we Hi, got Miss this Allie one. Kay. I do like the little grid lines on this, but again, it's just a tiny, it's just they cut it out like little pieces of paper cut out. And who the heck, I'm not going to get you guys to buy this stuff. Like, I wouldn't even. We can make that ourselves. Yeah, look, this is a little notebook pieces that are cut out. That, that, look at that. Good gravy. Who would buy that? No one. Like, I wouldn't even. This is a cut up notebook. How look much they that. want for that anyway? $14.99. Are you serious? What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. Look Good at that. Good gravy. This is cut up. This is just little cut up things. The wedding. Like, no. Carrie oh says God. it looks like paint scraps. Yeah, it's it's not worth. I mean, they said ephemeras. That to me is not. Look at that That's one. not ephemera. That's, no, it's that's Chinese notepad. Yeah, look at that. that. And that and that's not even perfectly aligned. Like it's cut up. They took a piece of paper and cut it out. Look at that. The word post. Look at that one. All you can do is make massive boards with that. It does. It looks like a scratch pad. You know how you used to make scratch pads mm -hmm. with just paper. Look at that. That's just scratch. That's scratch paper. Yeah. 
It's junk paper to me. That's what junk I look at it. It's, yeah, junk paper. Scratch paper. And some of the in the images is so blurry. You guys can't see it blurry, but it's very blurry. It's not good quality print. Nothing. Okay. Uh, you tell them I one. said. Tell them you tell them you shared it with your friends, and they they laughed at you. Look at that. Tell them all the so same. They, little you need to pay me for my humiliation. That's exactly this, what I tell. This them. is the only thing out of it that was decent that and the flowers that and the flowers this I is the only you can buy oh, wow. a bag of paper at the on dollar tree for a dollar and a half and so that's what i said dollar right there dollar yeah, uh, but dollar, dollar tree's one's nothing. bigger <laughs> yeah that's what dollar. i'm saying you get more than you do right there yeah and for 14.99 tell, tell them your that shipping. That, tell them that we laughed at you may plus the shipping uh -huh. And I said, uh, no, there's no way in the world I would try to say that this is a great ephemera kit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, no. Yeah, it's just I pieces will... of paper. It's just cut As up. As Margaret said, paper. it's junk. <laughs> it is junk. I would not, I would not even entertain that. Like, it's, no. <laughs> Yeah, tell them, tell them that you get humiliated when yeah. you show them. <laughs> like, who would use that? They have no standards, no standards at all. No, they don't. Uh -huh. <laughs> I would say. You can take What's the your opinion, KK? What's your opinion? Was it junk? I said I didn't even look. I say it was junk. KK's not listening, y'all. She's she's muted. She's cutting probably. Oh, she's cutting. I'm listening. I'm cutting. What's your opinion on that ephemera pack? Or that lack of? What ephemera pack? I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw paper. <laughs> junk. As Miss Margaret said, junk. Dollar Tree has a better pack. Yes, I agree. And that's and that's exactly what I told him. I said Dollar Tree has um better at least they've got homemade paper. Yeah, they have better packs than this. I would rather go. I throw out better junk, says Miss Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I'm My sure. trash can's got better paper in it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should send them a review of what you guys think about that. <laughs> y'all need to get Margaret on here. I bet she make y'all laugh. Oh, Margaret would make you laugh a lot. They should be ashamed of themselves for asking 15 bucks for that. <laughs> I agree. I thought, no. I wouldn't even. I told him, I said, I wouldn't even pay $15 for that. Plus shipping. Plus shipping. Look, free paper. <laughs> That's even bigger. <laughs> KK, you're in the wrong business, woman. <laughs> I didn't know such thing. Hey, look, we all reviewed it and we all gave our honest opinion. Yeah, I mean, you need to be honest with them. Don't I did. Them back. <laughs> I did give him my honest opinion. Even Eric gave his. He said, "What the heck is that?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, God, no, I, I cannot. I said, no, there's no way. There is absolutely no way. I said, you know what? I I don't mind promoting somebody if they hey, want me Vanessa, to send it. I'm mad. I'm mad that you, you didn't even make her take her time and show us that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Penny. I don't think we want to see junk, as Miss Margaret says. 
it is junk. I mean, my, goodness, my, my show was I mean, junk. I don't even think my granddaughter would want that. <laughs> right? You know, like, I'm sorry. Sorry. Hey, Nana, where'd you buy this? I, like, I thought this. I'm sorry. I'm not that desperate. You know, I got, I think I pretty much. <laughs> you got junk covered, don't you, got me? Yeah, I got junk covered. I don't think I I don't I don't think I need it that bad. Like, no. Read what Lourdes wrote. All right. They should be ashamed of themselves. Is that what you're saying? Uh-huh. Yeah. No. Go down a little bit more. Oh, good you didn't see it. Not worth looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. But how can you not laugh at that, right? Then my toilet paper is prettier and it's cheaper priced. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? What is that? Oh my God. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> so I got paper towel that looks better than that. Come on now. <laughs> I should send them. I should send them the vi the video review. <laughs> Tell them to go in at 141 10 and they're gonna get their review right there. Boom. <laughs> oh god, that would be hilarious. That would be funny. And then she says, Well, we got other paper packs that I said, Miss Ma'am, this, no, this no, I said no, because I had already looked at the other ones and I'm like, this was I thought the most decent one. And I said, and I'm thinking that you're i said no no even that what you're recommending you is just that, crappy. That somebody else yeah i said no i said i can't i'm sorry you need to find someone that uh is there a place to go on their site to actually put in a review so people can actually read it so they won't waste their money uh no oh uh, no you know trust me plus it would probably just delete they use uh, well, you know what you type. Yeah. They'll delete it. If if that if if that exists. If it's that bad, yeah. And I don't know. Companies don't, it, do that. And I don't know if they're just new or what. And I said, y'all need to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> it wasn't a very nice thing that I said. I said no. I said I, I would not even entertain the thought of trying to push. But it's not. It's I not about put that in the journal. It's being honest. Yeah. Right. It is That's being what honest. I was saying to be to keep somebody, you know, that that's starting out and knows what's. I mean, you wouldn't want them to waste their money on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I would not. They're trying to make money. I wouldn't make money on little scraps of paper. Come on now. I can sell that a whole bag full for that price. Probably so much I, can't I mean, they give you they give you better they give you better uh paper going through McDonald's drive thru than they do. All right, like I'm that. also off my trash can paper. I'm <laughs> serious. <laughs> you get more paper out of the daggone paper bag at McDonald's and you can Okay, that. Kate, that's a nice stencil right there. You know, my my uh my cricket decided to for me. Did it chew it in the middle again? No, it just stopped cutting. Um, what? Yes. I'm gonna have to restart it. See? Did is this, what, are you using your iPad? See, the other day we were having issues and I don't know. I haven't gone back in since the other night to see if it was cricket access or what the heck. Because I know they do a lot of maintenance and whenever they do maintenance, they screw up everything. I do know that if you're on a cricket and you, if your Wi-Fi that gives the least little glimpse, glimpse or flinch or whatever, that it will cut it down. It'll shut it down and stop it. Another reason why I like the brother scan and cut. You don't need the internet. Right. You don't? No. Miss no, Penny, Miss nope. Penny, guess what I got? I heard you. You heard me. I, there was one here for thirty and forty dollars the other day. What's which one? Uh, I'm not sure, but they was new in a box. 
We'll see if they still have it. Uh, Reason I say is because I'm I'm trying to see if I can get one from Vanessa because she needs a cutting. If it's oh, no, she, okay. uh, if it's the if it's the scanning cut, she already has that one. She just she needs like a well like a silhouette. I think a silhouette would be good for her. So oh she can no, cut. this was a scanning cut. Oh no, but still find out which one they have. I'm I'm all about machines now. Ooh, look at that. Oop, sorry. What? That's sorry. How y'all like my background, y'all? And May, yours wasn't a DM. It's a DX. DX model. Oh, the DX. No, the one. The one I got from you is the DX. Okay, no, I had another one that was gifted to me. Okay. And I that I think that was the ant the DM and that thing wouldn't even scan damn that one I was able to scan. The one you got, I was able to scan my designs that I had in the laser machine. I was able to scan. Um it's the, uh, SDX or whatever you call it. What was that? Uh oh. <laughs> it's me laughing. What? <laughs> I'm reading Night Angel's comment. Dang, oh, you read about paper? the toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> You're just reading that now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so funny when she finally catches up after I doing know, her cut. <laughs> Caught me off guard. <laughs> Send them this video, May, and tell them to go 141, one hour and 41 minutes in, and they're going to get their clear reviews. <laughs> I know, I Your should. Honest reviews. The, honest, I, the most honest review they'll get. They can't get any more honest than that, right? Dude. I well, think you can buy pads easy. that look better than that. Come on. Toilet paper even is bosses for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. As I said, you can even buy pads that look better that's uh better than that. Oh, Cotex is yeah. Okay. You know what my mom called them rags. Back in the day, that's what they used to wear. They did, didn't they? Yeah. They and even call them rags today. Yeah, you're on your rag. <laughs> my um, when you go to Cuba, a lot of the ladies they wear they wear um, they wear rags. <laughs> Labels on clothing better. <laughs> I really think oh, they need to see this review. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I'll need to chat up if they want. <laughs> Let me tell you one on my brother, bless his heart. He's dead and gone, so I can laugh at him, but Anyway, he came through the house one day and he had on one of mom's pads in his underwear. Mom said, what have you got in your underwear? And he said, mama, he said, I got diarrhea. I got one of your pads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he thought that was for diarrhea. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh how old was he joe he how old was a teenager he? oh he was a teenager so he had no clue what they were for right. <laughs> how funny he was he was such an idiot though i'm looking and then one time he comes through there and he said god mom he said that no matter watching her he said that stuff tastes awful she said what are you talking about Matt? he said that green mouthwash in her she said hey you're far joe that ain't damn mouthwash that's my douche <laughs> 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 
She said it was douche. <laughs> he said, What's that? <laughs> <laughs> she said, That's something that a woman cleans her honey in with. <laughs> 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 Apparently, he didn't know the difference between Mount Wash and Douche, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he wanted his breakfast smell good. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, it, it, it was, it, it, it smelled good, all right. <laughs> Dude, he said that stuff tastes nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Oh, well, we got Miss Penny and have one thing now, y'all. And we never let him. We never let him forget that. Every time we'd always, you know, how when it, oh, your that's family gets thing. together, you know how you when your family gets together and you always bringing up the past. Uh -huh. We always let Joe remember that. <laughs> we never let him live that one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh. He just laughed about. Hey, we like to do it in front of his girlfriends. Oh, that that probably just oh. Oh, he just laughed. He just laughed. He had firsthand experience, huh? <laughs> um, let me tell you, my stepdad. He wasn't. When my mom first married, he was my stepdad wasn't a very smart man, period. I mean, he was smart about money, but not KK, that 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 cut out really nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. He went street smart, huh? He no, it, it he no he, common sense. He he didn't know much about he read he didn't go to school very long. Um he he knew how to write but very little and he oh, didn't know how to read a whole lot. That, that moon is beautiful. It is. And so he, my mom, I remember I was like in fifth grade. So my, I asked my mom, um, could she get me some nair? Cause it was the first time she was going to let me shave my legs. And she got me some nair. Um, short, short. Yeah. I wanted nair. And so he, he went to take a shower and he, <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Don't tell me he used a shampoo. <laughs> he used it as a shampoo, and <laughs> God. <laughs> He, he used 
but he had long hair. His hair was down to almost his shoulder. I mean, he had my stepdad had really he had pretty almost blondish hair. And he was Puerto Rican, but he had blondish hair. I mean, he was oh his hair. Was he had beautiful hair. He, <laughs> yeah, you want some new shampoo? Get some there. <laughs> and I, for some reason back then the, the 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 formula was a lot better than the formula now. Hi, Mr. Oh, Trisha. God, Hi, I Mr. already smelled like burnt hair. <laughs> he started calling for my mom because he had clumps of hair coming out. <laughs> you know, he kept saying my mom's name was Edie. Edie! Edie! <laughs> And my mom runs over there and she says, what's wrong? He says, my hair is falling out, look. <laughs> she had bird pops on his head. And when she said, what were you using? He says, I don't know, I'm using this. It's making money. Oh, my says, God. That's hair remover. <laughs> oh, I bet she, I bet she cracked up. Oh, he was mad at me for leaving the bottle there. He's, why did she leave that bottle? <laughs> <laughs> like it was your fault. And, and mom says, and why don't you know how to read? <laughs> <laughs> he says, she says, you idiot. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, somebody needs the pins again, Patricia. <laughs> oh hey, that one that one was fun here in Joe's, I think. <laughs> and you know, he had beautiful hair. I mean, he my stepdad had very beautiful hair because it was almost blondish, right? <laughs> Until he used hair to wash his hair. <laughs> he had to cut his hair off because he had bumps. Oh my he had God. Balls all over his hair. I bet like, he looked like he had the mange, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he looked horrible. And I just started to laugh, and he was yelling at me for leaving the bottle. <laughs> I didn't hear a word you said. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that man was stupid. He was stupid. He was very stupid. <laughs> may, he rest, may he rest in peace, little asshole. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably over there. I thought, I thought he used it as body wash. I never thought about shampoo. <laughs> no, he used it. In, he used it in his hair and he had... He had patches. He had to cut his hair short. <laughs> 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 so weird. He, he, he always had a he always had a beard too, and so that's. Let me see if I find a picture of him. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey Patricia, they're all three making something different. They're just playing. I'm working really. on a filmer from my uh, journal. Yeah, they're just playing. We're just going on a whim. <laughs> you didn't say wing it. You didn't say wing it. <laughs> Vanessa's, always, winging it. Vanessa's always winging it. Are you kidding That's me? His hair was like an, um, when he was younger, when he first met my mom, because he worked a lot in the sun, his hair would go blonde. So here is in the winter. But this is right after that. Look, that's my stepdad. Hold on, that's my mom. So this is right after this incident. But oh he had God. he had like I would say dirty blonde hair, maybe. Um, and he had it really long. His hair was always long. That's how my mom met him. And he had a really <laughs> like a lot of beard. And so this is <laughs> this is the summer because it was during the summer and he had bald spots all over his hair where it was up to his shoulders and his beard he had patches so he had to cut his hair really really short yeah <laughs> oh my god I laughed my ass off because I couldn't stand his ass um and I thought, that's what you get for taking my daddy's place. <laughs> mm -mm. That's your mom. She looks just like you, May. 
Oh, that's you. I think so too. Uh huh. Nice, nice mama. That was in uh, Clayton, Delaware. Margaret's cutting laces. Clayton, yeah, Delaware. let me tell you, to use an air for shampoo, that got to be <laughs> something. <laughs> you caught on rock size for me, sis. You knew that all. And you know what? He had a habit. And the only reason I know this is because... Um, we lived in a really poor house. Um, and so he always had a wash. He had this thing about his hair. I mean, he, his, his hair was his pride and joy and he would wash his hair a lot. And he would always wash, wash it twice. I don't know why, but he would, why he would have to wash his hair twice. Um, he says that on the bottle. What? To wash hair twice wash he didn't read he didn't know how to read so that that one that oh. he, no no he didn't know how to read that man was like i said he was good with money um he was good working at pulling out trees he could take a tree and dig that sucker out in 2.5 seconds because that's what he did for a living for so many years right. but he wasn't the smartest apple in the bunch right one crayon started in a box, eh? Yeah. One screw loose. <laughs> Mom got on his case and you should learn how to read then. <laughs> I thought it was funny, but I got in trouble for that though. That was a good that was well, it's not your fault. No, it was the best punishment ever. I got to see him warming about his hair. That's one. That's one. That's one time you didn't mind being in trouble. I did not mind at all getting in trouble that day. That was the best punishment ever. I thought that was hilarious. He had patches on his beard, his hair. It was like so funny. I get the mind. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you see no mangy dog. He was pissed. He was younger than my mom, and so he was all like, "All into looks, huh?" He was all into his looks. Yeah. <laughs> you hurt his ego. I heard something. Shame right. on you, May, for making him go half bald. <laughs> I don't care. I didn't care that. I mean, I got my butt beat, but. I didn't, man. I didn't care. I was the best. Well, I, I'm I telling you, I was. Did they whip you? Huh? My mom did. She hit me. She she hit me because I left it there for leaving it there because he got mad. Girl, I would get my butt beat every time I would put my every time I get sn snappy with him as a kid. Nice, Stacy. Didn't like him. I would get beat for getting smart mm -hmm. with him. Mom said I was um, irresponsible for leaving that there. Well, that's where it belonged in a bathroom, right? No, because she says I should have put Patricia. it away in the cabinet. Bye, Miss Patricia. Bye, Miss Patricia. Who else left? Which um, project? Oh, the little Stacey. house. Isn't that pretty cool what she's making? That little. Good night, Miss Stacy. Good night, good night, good night. Only thing I don't like about this this um, acetate thing is I don't have any paper towels, and this gets like a lot of fingerprints. If you got no baby wipes? No, I need to get I need to get baby wipes. It's one of my things that I I need to get on my list. You of usually have a cloth with you. I know I have, I, but you know, coming back to crafting, I didn't have none of that stuff. Or... Just don't get no cheesecloth. I did. I got a pack Probably of cheesecloth. laying on her shoulder right when it's. No, I got a pack of cheesecloth. <laughs> Look. I sure did got a pack of cheesecloth. Use it. Don't leave it on your shoulder now. I was looking it for wipes, the, it wipes as good as anything. You know what I was looking for? Those heads that I was uh I would make the Santas from. 
from Hobby Lobby. I've been looking for them, but they don't have them anymore. The Hobby Lobby Santas, do you guys remember those? Yeah, I remember that. You can get the <laughs> Santa has a Dollar Tree around Christmas time. Hey. Speaking of which, do you guys remember when I altered that paper mache reindeer during that hop? Yeah. You remember that, right? Mm-hmm. There was someone going around uh, kind of making it look like that was their idea. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess Angela? No. Um, I was like, no, I altered it with um that a couple Man, of years ago. Where did you buy the cheesecloth? Walmart. I got it at Walmart. You can get it in different colors at uh Dollar Tree Hobby. right now because really? of the Halloween. Because of I Halloween. Got, I know that um Hobby Lobby also gets you can sometimes get it in different colors. I had it in different colors, but I don't got rid of all my stuff. Look how pretty that is. All those layers. I know. That is so freaking cool. I want to do that ghost painting that everyone's doing. You buy an old picture and turn it into a ghost painting on TikTok. Did you see that, KK? Mm -hmm. I want to do that. I want to do one of those. Okay, that's going to go there. All right, let's stamp. I want to do that. Ooh, that's going to be neat. So many layers. I know. That's going to be neat, though. Are you going to frame it? Yep. That's going to be neat. I like how the yellow makes it look like it's got lights in it. Mm-hmm. Right. We went from laughing to quiet. Silence. Well, we don't okay. have no more things about that, the nair for hair for shampoo, man. <clears throat> there, I was saying who wears shorts. Okay, I got. I got to tell you. I got to tell you something else. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. I have a, I hope, well, she's is Vanessa's channel, so she's probably not going to be watching. Um, hopefully she's not watching. Oh. Hopefully she, I didn't share it on Facebook, so maybe, you know, I mean, I didn't share it on my wall on Facebook, so she probably doesn't know we're on this channel. So anyway, I have a cousin who absolutely is not the most pleasant. I, I took her last year. I took her on a trip um, and I, she's my oldest cousin. So she saw me as a baby. Um, and there was pictures of her holding me as a, as an infant baby. And she always thought that I was her little baby when she was 15 and blah, blah, blah. And she was my mom's first niece. Um, and my mom's oldest sister's first, chi first child. So my mom, uh, <clears throat> my grandmother raised her. So my mom grew up with her, um, as an infant. Cause my grandmother raised my aunt's three kids, oldest kids. Um, and so my mom was raised with her and they almost grew up like sisters. Anyway, when my mom passed away, they were pretty cruel to my mom in, in a sense, you know, her sisters. And when my mom passed away, they all came into my mom's house and kind of raided. And I was in mourning. So I was in shock and mourning and they raided my mom's. They took everything, you know, they just cleaned up house. And before I knew it, they took off and I just. I left, I left empty. Well, last year she calls me up and she tells me she's really sad and lonely and depressed. And I feel sorry for her because she is my oldest cousin and I wouldn't want that for anybody, you know? So I said, Hey, let's go on a trip. So she and I, <clears throat> I know my mom loved to travel and we decided, I decided, well, let's go to Cuba. So we went to Cuba. She, that was the worst trip of my life because I have never in my life seen anyone so selfish, self-centered, entitled, 
bickery, big rude, rude, rude as fuck. Like, excuse my French, but rude as fuck because <sighs> we got there and they offered coffee. And keep in mind, Cuba is very poor. And so when they give you coffee, it's a shot of espresso in a tiny little cup. And so she says, and I told her, I warned her. I said, we're going to go to Cuba. It's a, um, they're opening their homes to us. It's a very poor country. We, they don't have McDonald's. They don't have burger. They don't have any fast food. <clears throat> they barely can get eggs. They barely can. They, they don't get milk. There's no. They don't milk. have any fast food in Cuba. No, 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 no. Um, they, um, the meat is for like the politics, high ranks, um, yeah. like the, the red meat, the, you know, they can have pork, but certain things they can't have um because they're limited on certain things and so eggs and milk that's that's a high commodity you know wow. and i and, she, and i know she likes her coffee with milk and she drinks like a big cup like y'all know i i love i used to drink a lot of coffee well this girl drinks like a 32 ounce cup of hot coffee <clears throat> with a lot of milk and a lot a lot of sugar so i took a big bag i i always go take big bags of stuff to them. I took lots of food, a lot of condiments and things like that. And coffee. And here's here comes Eric talking about my cousin. Hey, you remember my cousin? <laughs> anyway, we get to Cuba. It's the first day they offered her coffee. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we get down there. She asked for coffee and they give her coffee espresso shot. They don't have milk. I warned her. They don't have these things. They don't have a Walmart. They don't have an HEB. They don't have a Super Fresh or they don't have any of that stuff. They have little tiny um, farmers, like little mar markets, you know, that you can buy things, but it's not like. It's one place I don't want to go then. No, you never. It, it, it's not for everybody. I grew up very humble and very poor, so I knew how to live. And, and she did, too. She did too, you know. Well, he says to the girl, first time meeting her, can you give me some sugar, more sugar? And the girl went, add more sugar. It, she goes, now, can you go give me, can you put some milk in there? I looked at her like, what the fuck? I just told you. I, I took powdered milk, right? Right. <clears throat> that wasn't good enough for her, right? She goes, can you add more um more of that powdered milk it's not enough so she goes and puts more powder milk she comes back and gives it to her no, just add a little bit more of that powder milk she goes back she went to the kitchen five times are you serious i'm not kidding you by the fifth time when she came back with the little espresso shot she says can can you add milk milk because that milk just and i looked at her and i said i already told you they don't have milk here and she says, oh, okay, I'll drink it. She says, it's it's a little bit strong for me. All right. So then she gets, she's 65 she was last year. <clears throat> There's a young man that could be the age of her son. She starts to flirt with this guy on the second day of being there. And I'm looking at her like, what the heck is wrong with you? So the lady feeds her. And she, she, every time the lady went to give her anything to eat, she would make the lady go to the kitchen two or three times. Then she started to get the shits. I told her, careful with the water. Careful with the water. There's this water that I bought, gallons of water. No, she, she was drinking from the tap thinking she's here in the States. Then she was eating these fruits that created her to have more shits. And then she kept, they have water restrictions there. So they don't get their water 24, seven, seven days a week, 365 days a year. No, they have water coming in at six in the morning to about 11 in the morning. And then it gets shut off. And so they, they get down, they fill up tubs of water so that it spreads throughout the day to wash dishes and take a shower. So if you want to take a shower, you got to do it early mornings. I tell her this. I warned her this. I it repeated it even on the plane. 
she starts to go in there and she's taking a shower. She made them run out of water, burned her tank. So I had to get someone to refix their tank because she mo burned a motor that brings the water up to their tank. Anyway, she Aww. burned it. So I had to refix that. Then she got the shits. And when I say she got the shits, she got the shits. She shit it all over. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? I had never been more embarrassed in my freaking life. And she's like, you just don't understand me. You just don't understand me. And I said, no, you damn right. I don't understand you. You're an entitled bitch. You're making this woman thinking that she's your slave. And you're acting like you, you are rich when you're not rich. You, you don't even own a damn ass car, you know? <laughs> And then she's telling people that please speak English to me because I don't speak Spanish. And I looked at her. I said, what the freak? I said, it, Spanish is your first language. What are you talking about? She says, I'm from America and they need to speak to me. I said, but you're in a Cuban country, Spanish speaking country. You in didn't... Puerto Rico, do they have uh, fast food in Puerto Rico? Oh, yes. In Puerto Rico, not Cuba, okay. though. Okay. Oh, yes. No, no. Cuba is a third world country. Well. She's, and then and then she starts speaking Spanish to them. And the lady says, I thought you didn't speak Spanish. She says, I do, but I don't like it. It gives me a headache. And I looked at her and said, no, And the lady's looking at me. So the lady comes. She says, she says, you know, I love you to death. And you're welcome any day of the week. But not our day of the year. But please don't bring your cousin back to me. Please don't ever bring her back. Oh my God. Well, that's, that's horrible. Here. I bet you feel bad. Oh, I did. That was the most, that was the worst two weeks of my life. So she was planning to be here for a month in my house. And I called up Eric. I texted him from Cuba and I said, please find her a ticket. Oh, that turned out beautiful, KK. I definitely want that. Oh, file. wow. That is gorgeous. I definitely want that file. Did you see what Margaret said? My husband wanted to be wanted to go. He saw pictures. He changed his mind fast. <laughs> well, no, I, I had to take it. If you're a tourist, there is beautiful hotels. It's very beautiful. No, the hotels oh, for tourists. Go Eric wants to go on a fishing trip. It's, uh, a company puts it on. It's a seven day trip throughout the whole island, just fishing. Right. But I can't afford it. Well, it, 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 no, the tourists, no, you can go into the hotels. Drink the water. No, the hotels there are beautiful for the tourists. I choose to go with a family that I, oh, that is so beautiful, that I, I visit all yeah. the time. Well, I mean, like, I, free housing, you know. You well, yeah, hotel. Well, well, it's not really free because I always take food and, and I take Right, food. right, right. I, but you I, know what I mean. Yeah, I like this time around when I went, I took four suitcases full of stuff for them. Right. So anyway, we get down there. Um, if tourists can go into the hotels, they can do anything, and it's beautiful. They get the best cut of meats, everything. No, that, that, but I stay in the with the poor people. I grew up in a very poor house. We didn't have running water. We didn't have a a, a, a toilet. We had an outhouse. Okay, so we did too. Havana is beautiful. That's where I normally go, and so it's beautiful. It is gorgeous. However, there is parts of it it's very run down, and the people are very poor. <clears throat> Very nice restaurants. I mean, I've gotten to eat in the restaurants there. I, Leo's, I won't say Leo's mother's boyfriend escaped Cuba. Really? Yeah. He wanted to go where my father-in-law was. Wow. It's beautiful there. It is beautiful. And so, well, when we get back, I had told Eric. And so she gets back, thinks she's going to be in a, a whole month in my house giving me shit. And I was like, oh, hell no. You gave, you ruined my vacation time. You totally ruined this trip. I had never had a miserable what, trip. What did you tell Eric? And so I told Eric, get her a plane ticket to get the heck out of my house. Like the day after we get there, she didn't even have 24 hours. To, well, no, she had. She had 20, she had a whole day here. So I took her to San Antonio because she wanted to go there. She didn't even want to walk. She's like, take me to San Antonio. She didn't want to walk. I said, the Alamo, um, she wanted to go to Alamo. I said, what do you expect? You have to walk. That's how lazy she was. I'm like, what is wrong with you? <clears throat> I almost missed my plane to go to Cuba because she decided she wanted a wheelchair. But I'm like, so you need a wheelchair. But when there's a guy, you don't need a wheelchair. <laughs> make that make sense she's already on her 
Mm. Yeah. Well, so then we get back and the girls heard the story and they're like, we're going to get back at her. We're going to get back her. They decide to quit. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. That is, that is so freaking cool. Oh, my God. That is so cool. So the, Carla, the main instigator, decided, Mom, we're going to get her back. And Nani, who's sleeping right now, they decided to put x lax in her. <laughs> oh, my God. I bet she was dehydrated from having the poops and then that, too. That, well, she, I, I decided to be the nice cousin and wash all her laundry because we came back. We couldn't wash our clothes there because her, the girl's washing machine right, had broke right. down because, well, it wasn't broke down. Is that she ruined the motor that brought the water, the up, water up. Right. And so, um, I had left her money to get that repaired <clears throat> anyway. Um, so I said, you know, we're not going to wash. I, I have, I felt so bad about everything she did that I, I was like, I'm not bothering anybody about washing our laundry. So we bought our laundry. So I'm taking out her suitcases. Tell me why this grown ass woman had not hand washed her dirty, stinky, poopy, <laughs> her dirty, stinky, poopy underwear. Did you have to go buy gloves? I was, I didn't even know this. I stick my hand in the suitcase, open oh up the suitcase, God. and I start it. And when I saw that her, oh she had not washed her poopy underwears. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she comes running down. Oh no, no, you don't have to. And I'm like, I didn't know. Right. I did not realize she was, I pooped myself. And I'm like, why didn't you wash this shit by hand? <laughs> oh my god so the girls gave her this this shitty this stuff to so she would poop and they're like mom she's gonna poop herself in the plane <laughs> oh my <laughs> god to this day i haven't heard from her <laughs> <laughs> i wonder why <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. The girls did it. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine the people sitting beside her on the plane? Oh my God. <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> oh my God. I can't keep getting up to go to the bathroom. Oh my you God. Didn't make I don't, it though. I you don't know? even want to. I don't even want to imagine how much she was bugging the shit out of everyone. On that point, <laughs> oh. she smile or a big lady? Um, she is. Was it supposed to be? Yes, it was a prank. <laughs> it was a. It was a prank. I know. I shouldn't have done that. She is. Um, not. I wouldn't say she's big. I mean, I would say she's. She probably weighs. Uh, I don't know. Well, she lost a lot of weight that day. <laughs> lost a lot of weight during the trip. <laughs> during the whole trip, she had diarrhea because she kept eating. So we would tell them, oh, I don't eat a lot. I don't eat a lot. Can you give me more? Oh, I don't eat a lot. I don't eat a lot. And she kept asking for more. Oh, my God. Um, and the guy that she was flirting with, I wonder, mm, oh, that's nasty. Nice. No, it wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god. No, the guy that she was flirting with. Oh. He was he was younger than her son, her youngest son. Wow. She, she was promising him to give him his green card. I'm like, girl, who the hell are you Who are you kidding? She ain't even the brown squirts. <laughs> She's gonna give you the worst squirts in the toilet. I told her, I said, he's old enough to be your son, girl. What's wrong with him? Do you like the overage woman 65 who can't control her bowel movements? She needed, she needed some depends on that trip. Mm. And I know, well, it's still I know it wasn't very nice of me to let my daughters do that. But I don't think depends. It's made for that. But she, guys, she she ruined my trip. I mean, she was the most entitled. And I never, you know, I always had respect for my oldest cousin. I always had, I mean, when Mother's Day. She showed her money and right? When Mother's Day, I always sent her money. 
you know, for Mother's Day, I when I went to see my uncle when he passed away, I left her money. You know, I was always, even though they were not the very nicest to me, they were never nice to me growing up. Um, I always, because I figured that she was like my oldest, you know, like, I don't know. I just felt like she was like my oldest cousin, but same thing, like a second mom, you know, because she would babysit me when I was little. But then again, I felt like, you know, some of the stuff that they did to my mom was I very, it, yeah, she probably might, well. They always, they always did things to my mom, you know, they always hurt my mom's feelings. So. Well, she got what she wanted. She had to run the whole trip. So, are we going to put it on someone else now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I like that frame. That is so nice. I love it. Don't you guys like that? I love it. I it came out really good. That did. That came awesome. I'm going to have to get that file. I love it. I believe I shared it in the chat. Vanessa, make sure you leave that chat because I'll have to come back. I had to come back the other night to get that one. Oh, the test not going nowhere. That's why I told you to send it to the company. You know, this one go too. one hour and forty one minutes in, and they see the whole, the whole shebang of the. Um, They'll hear a lot of crap of too. They'll hear a lot about some crapping. I lost <laughs> one of these. I mean, they want honest opinions. They got them. Here they are going out. Here they are mailing out. Loud and clear. And here it May's edition out crap. Mm, I would have never put that out there. No way. They're mailing out crap. May's edition out crap. And I feel like crap. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more. Tell us more well, how you feel. You know what? It's a good thing you're not full of crap. <laughs> it's, it's a good right. I was. I was until this. I finally got the blockage out. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing you didn't spend the night at our house because Nicarla and, and Nani has a fixing for that. <laughs> <laughs> and they watched her. You should have seen how they were watching her drink the coffee. <laughs> oh, the giggling behind her back. Oh, my God. I didn't know what they were doing. So I didn't realize they were all wanting to make coffee. And I'm like, why are they wanting to? Because they, I knew they didn't like what they had. she had done to me. How she, she even to said that she said that in that trip that uh, uh, I was stuck up. And I'm like, how in the hell are you going to say I'm stuck up when I don't mind living poor? And she's like, you just don't understand me. And so my daughters were really offended by her. And uh, they decided, well, we're going to fix her. And so they're all wanting to make this coffee for her. And I'm like, why are you guys wanting to make coffee for her? I, I didn't get that part. When they told me, I was like, oh, my God, she's going to shit all over that plane. They're going to have to land the plane. Mm, I, you know, they did landing. the other day. They had to uh, do an emergency landing because the passenger had diarrhea. And I said, I'm going to take that to my grave. Hello, Tower. This is flight. But they probably, it probably, it probably took, it probably took a couple hours for that crap to, to, you know, to work. It's like, uh, Control Tower. This is flight seven forty seven. We have an emergency. We have a sixty five year old woman here who <laughs> <had an emergency. laughs> <There's> <laughs> <shit> everywhere. <laughs> emergency <laughs> operation shit cleaning. And you can I blame mean, that on Carla. They, they, did do, they did have to do an emergency landing, honest. Well, yeah, I heard that. But there was also a pilot that had a heart attack. Did you see that? I uh, know. There was a pilot that had a heart attack while he was. Um, and then some some idiot tried to get in the cockpit in one plane, either today or yesterday. Nah. -uh. Yes. Really? People have lost their ever-loving mind. Don't they know that they they're the, those those are 
and 9-11's Monday. Yeah. Well, that one, uh, that one pilot, he had a heart attack and died. Anniversary. What's that? It's Sierra's anniversary. 9-11? Really? Yeah. That's coming up, ain't it? Yeah, it is. That was that one pilot that had the uh, heart attack right on the, and died in the middle of the flight. That's horrible. He went into the bathroom and died. Had a heart attack. Can you imagine? Well, folks, I hate to inform you, our pilot just had a heart attack and died. We are yeah. on a we are on autopilot. <laughs> what about that one girl that shows that she says she sees something on the plane? She made she went viral. You guys see that? That, mother that mother back there is not real. Yeah. <laughs> no, <it's> <laughs> She keeps saying, that motherfucker is not real. I don't know what he is, but I'm not going to have with this plane. If y'all want to, that's fine. Oh I love that woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was part of a movie, though, right? No, it was real. That, that really happened. That really happened a couple of weeks ago. I mean, I seen that here a while back, but I thought it was part of a movie. No, it was real. I actually shared on my Facebook the cartoon version version they made of it. I died laughing. They were thinking that she was having like a schiz schizophrenic episode, but they were saying no, that she literally felt that there was something in the plane. I think she was sipping on some mega plants. I think she was yeah, I think so too. I think well, she was she got sick. off of it, that's for sure. She went ride it. She, I think she was drunk. Can you know you can drink on the airport? I think she, she was probably drunk. was drunk before she got on the plane. Yeah, and that's the problem. Is sometimes that happens. Oh my goodness! Well, when people are on meth, they act like it too. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. my brother, my brother, she, she genuinely, oh. genuinely looks scared. I'm trying to find that video because it's so funny. That was funny. I was like, what the heck is wrong with her? Girl, come on. Uh, I wonder if they took it off. Of course it was. Anyways, it was funny. Yes, they turned around and went to where the destination they started and had to clean the airplane to get all the biohazard situations. What? Yeah, they did emergency landing. Oh, yes, yeah, that's the guy, that, the, the, the one that pooped all over the plane, right? They had to tear up all the carpet. Right. Eric was telling it me about everywhere. that. It went everywhere. Yeah, Eric was telling me about that. He couldn't help Damn. it. I mean, he couldn't help it. It's just... Yeah, Eric told me about that one. Delayed before took off. Wow. It you know, happens, one time, though. One time, you guys know I love Cuba. It's like my second home. I, I mean, I go to Cuba more than I go to my Puerto Rico. Um, and it's only because I feel more, I don't know, I feel more, my family is a little bit toxic. Um and I do go see my dad, but I, I prefer going to Cuba, to be honest, because I feel more welcomed and more loved than my oh, own really? family. The reason I said that it'd be a place I wouldn't want to go is because you know how picky I am about eating. And oh no, their food is delicious. They got oh they they. But cook. see, that's that's because you're used to it and you eat that. I don't eat rice and beans. And it's stuff like that. I um, I have to have my hamburgers and hot dogs. Well, well, you can always bring. I always take like when my girls went, I took food for them. You know, American food and stuff like that. Because Nani's okay. a picky eater. Like Nani's okay. a picky eater. So I would I take like nuggets and um hot dogs and cereal and things like that. Oh, okay. And normally when I go, I go with like if I go with the girls, I take. We each can take two two fifty pound bags, plus uh -huh. our carry on. So I always take two bags 
we each take two suitcases, 50 pounds each, plus, you know, um, our carry-on. Our oh, I always put our clothes in our carry-on so that way the girls have stuff to eat. Um, but, yeah, I always take food. Okay. I take coffee, crackers, chips, cookies, um, tuna, things like that, you know, Coke. that can, can be used. Um, and I share it with them as well. I'm like, I give, I take seasoning from them for them because they don't have a lot of that stuff. And, um, the government suppresses their people, don't they? Oh yeah. They're very, they're very horrible with their people. It's very sad. But um, it, it watched how it's not empower anymore though, right? Who? What's Fidel, his, name? his Fidel? Uh, Fidel and his brother, are just, his his um the guy that's in there is an idiot. Fidel's brother still, uh, he still has control, but not uh, not like before. I mean, he's still an idiot. They still they still. He'll I mean, shoot you on the spot if they don't like. The first time I went to Cuba, there you couldn't even have internet. You couldn't even talk about politics or anything like that. You had to be very secretive. Really? But yeah, not anymore. Now it's, it is what it is, you know. And people, uh, not, not don't even it, but okay. Anyway. But yeah, it, it, it's, it's a beautiful country. I recommend anybody. If you've never been there, it's beautiful. I would, I go all the time. I feel at home. I feel safer. I mean, they you can make it. I mean, it would be a whole lot better if they had a better government, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. The people are so welcoming um, there. I was going with some. I was going to say a story, but I forgot what it was. I don't know. You didn't tell me, so I can't tell you. It was something about, you know, y'all know I go there a lot. Um and I love going there, but then I forgot what it was, what I was saying. So it must not have been important. <laughs> It'll come back to you. Yeah. You know? um, oh, you were just saying that you don't mind living poor. Oh, yeah. I don't mind at all. I love, I love going to Cuba. I love it. Are they just friends or are they family? No, I have on my dad's side of the family. So... My dad's side of the family came from Cuba. Okay. So I was able to connect with some of those, uh, even though no one else in my family, but I was able to connect with um, some of those people. How long has it been since he's been back? Oh, he's never been there. He His, his dad was born in Puerto Rico. Oh. My grandfather was born in Puerto Rico, so it's been generations. It, he was part of the Fidel uh, Batista, the Batista family. Yeah. Uh. But when I first went, the first couple, the first time I went, I couldn't even mention that name, Batista, because of the government, the regime, the government, and how Fidel was in control at the time he was still alive. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't mention that. That was a no no. To they say that once you land, the third government, they, they keep an eye on you. No, that's not true. Mm -mm. They don't. They're pretty cool. They're pretty chill. Now, if you come in and you don't have your visa, they don't let you get in. They'll send you right back to make you turn back around. You got to have that visa to get in the country. But if you have the visa, they'll let you in. They, they love tourists. Um, they do. They really do. 
Yeah, but a lot of tourists go down there to do the drug uh, smuggling. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what. Um, that they is one prison. They'll throw your butt in prison in 2.5. They that they that is one thing that that country people there can't even have guns. They don't have guns. The people not oh, like here. Yeah. They can't have guns. They find out you have guns or drugs. You're you go in jail. That's why the kids you'll see them playing until two or three in the morning because they don't have like the stuff here where kids get kidnapped. No. Wow. You see them playing out in the streets, playing kickball and um, like we did back in the day, you know. How bad is their homeless people though? No, there's none of that. There's none. Mm -mm. I've I been Amer America's getting bad. Um, because they, their houses are run down. Their houses are really run down. So their houses go from one family well, member. To they can't. They can't get the supplies to fix no. them up. And then it, the houses go from one family member to the next family member and to the next family member like that. Oh. Yeah. But all those houses that, you know, Americans owned before that revolution, uh, they've given it to uh, the people. And the people live in those homes you know they're run down now they're not worth anything hmm. but well, yeah who runs, who runs the good hotels the government everything everything is owned by the government the government owns um everything there is okay, not a damn okay good night is she going home i mean going home no, yeah she's, she's taking us inside so before it starts to storm Oh, um, so the government there owns everything, restaurants, stores, everything, grocery stores, everything is owned by the government. Really? Mm -hmm. Do these people get paid for working? Very little. A teacher, um, a doctor there, a doctor there makes about $50 a month. A teacher makes about Twelve, oh, wow. twelve to fifteen dollars a month. Wow. A lawyer makes probably between fifty to a hundred dollars a month, but they do pay for their education. Their education is paid for. Wow. They send them to school to be engineers, doctor, and they have very good doctors. That they do. Wow. They have very good it doctors. Sounds like North Korea. Huh? Sounds like North Korea. Uh huh. They have control over a lot of their stuff, but if like if you decide to, um, they have con they have agreements with other countries to have their doctors come. Um, and of course they pay those doctors to go to other countries a little bit more, but the government of Cuba gets a good you know. They Chunky. get a portion to, yeah. Yeah. It's like, I'll send you there to be a doctor, but. You're going to owe us for the rest of your life. Yeah. A lot of them leave the country to go to other countries, you know, to become doctors or what, you know, to, but then like they come to the States that, that's not equivalent, even though they're highly, very good doctors. It's not their degree is not equivalent here. It's not. Mm -mm. Not you. It's not. It's not used here. They uh -huh. have. Uh uh. They have to go back to college, and get like most of them will go back and be like a nurse because that's the closest thing they can do. Oh. Are you saying that America has higher standards than theirs? Is that what you're saying? It's not. They won't accept it. Yeah. Their degree. Their degree. They can't um, transfer over their degree. Oh. Yeah. So they have very good doctors. But once they get here, that, that degree is no good. They have to either go back to school and become a doctor again. 
or they would rather go to a different country then where they can yeah, a lot, a lot of them yeah a lot of them if they have like a, a doctor's degree like i know um um i have a goddaughter um and she's she's a doctor and she's she went to um and i used to get a lot of my um like antibiotics and stuff like that during covid my son when it first started he started to get sick he had really high fevers and he was shivering and shaking we didn't know what was wrong and we didn't know about covid had started i gave him three of those pills it only took three and it knocked it out well um but we didn't know it was covid because it was the beginning of covid yeah. but um she went to spain oh did she uh -huh. She first went to Venezuela because there was an agreement with the Venezuelan government and doctors in Cuba. Um, I watched the documentary on Venezuela the other night. Yeah. But Venezuela is just as corrupt and she was scared before her life because they would throw bombs, threaten the Cuban Cubans and stuff like that. So she decided, I can't do this and, and left. <laughs> And left Venezuela, went back to Cuba, and then took a plane like she was going to go do her honeymoon in Q, um, Spain and stayed there in wow. asylum in Spain. And now she's working on transferring all her degree stuff for Spain to be a doctor there. That's good. Mm-hmm. It really is. She's she's really smart doctor. That's okay, KK. Smart doctor. You know, I've noticed. I was telling KK some of these stamps from um, from Tim's are almost identical. Yeah, I know. They um, are just another stamp set with the same crap. <laughs> it's loud, but she's here. She's cutting again. Gosh, she's made more progress. No, she's inside the house. Her oh. husband's playing video games and it's really loud, she said. What is he playing? I got the PlayStation uh, 5 for my son for his birthday next week. Probably Call of Duty. Oh, Modern Warfare. We got him the PlayStation 5 because he's been wanting that. And that's what we got him for his birthday. Okay, where's my stamp? Where's my other stamp? Where the heck did I put that damn stamp? I don't need mushrooms because I don't want specimen. Well, I like this one. Look at this one, the speckles. We can do speckles. Y'all are quiet. Miss Penny's tell us a joke here. Come on. Hee hee ha ha. Hee hee ha ha. Tell, her, tell us another story from your brother's crazy. stuff <laughs> no god you got her giggling mm -hmm. there's there's got to be a lot more story than that <laughs> god she's even uh, i love it when we're thinking her. about him oh my god <laughs> <laughs> He took this girl home once or here. <laughs> <laughs> that was a regular bed. And she was in <laughs> she went in the bathroom and was freshening up and he, he put his leg up under him. <laughs> <laughs> Understand her from the last. 
He had his leg up under him and had it propped up on the pillow like a little nub, like his leg was cut off. <laughs> she thought his leg was cut off? Yeah. <laughs> Why did he do that? He <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> she came out of the back. He was you happy on She said she's so she's laughing so hard. She can't even tell us the story, right? Oh my god. He said, Will you hit me my leg behind the door? <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he, he said you should have seen our face. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he said, but the way he did it, it looked just like his leg was gone. He just had that little nub. <laughs> <laughs> what did the girl do? He said that he scared her to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys, I'm looking for a, a stamp here and I don't see it now. Oh, here it is. Oh. I bet she never went back to his house again. I bet you he never got. I bet you he never, she never saw his ass again. <laughs> My legs behind the door. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I'm sure she never went back, huh? I don't know. I know. I know my uncle, my uncle Jim, bless his heart. <laughs> he was talking to my uncle Jim one day, and I was said we we was all sitting around talking and stuff. And he looked at my uncle Jim. And he said, "Uncle Jim," he said, "I had the best crack last night." <laughs> <laughs> about what they're saying right i know it. when they're especially when they're like under the oh he went he was straight as be. he was just saying that he was just he's just a big cat up joe was just a big cat up I'm just <laughs> oh he was just saying it just to, to see what he would get your uh your uncle to yeah he was just saying it to make uncle jim scared today <laughs> I was on the best crack last night. Man, that was the best crack I've ever had. <laughs> and did your uncle believe it? <laughs> he scared him to death until Joe told him Patsy's crack. 
<laughs> That's funny. Oh, Lord. What else did he do? It's, oh, Lord, I sit here and get y'all. Oh, Lord. He, you got to some stories he, for next week now. I know. He was afraid of the dark. He was uh -uh. afraid. Yes, he was. <laughs> as grown as he was? As mean as he was. He was afraid of the dark. Mm -mm. <laughs> he was mean? Oh, yes. <laughs> First time he came down to my house after Sierra was born. Mm -hmm. He's going to sleep downstairs. <laughs> and he came, I come to the I come to the house and he was up back up on my li in the living room on the couch. He said, I can't sleep down there. He said, them deers was looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> he must have really been on something, huh? That night. I love a dark room to sleep in, but I refuse to wander about in the dark. Well, now, KK, tell us your secrets now. I don't mind the dark. I, I, I can't sleep with light. Oh, heck no. I cannot. I have, no, I have to have my TV on. You got to have what? I have to have a TV on. I can't okay. sleep in the dark. Oh, I can. Me, I, can. I got every light in the house on. Well, you live in the boonies. I probably, I probably would be like that, too, if I lived in the boonies. You know, remember she when I... You remember when um, Freddie and because uh, my stepdad would wear, uh, watch a lot of scary movies. Little he watched uh, vampire movies. I was I could I have never watched The Exorcist. Never. Well, you know like, the guy that played Jason lives here in my town. Really? Yes. Oh dear. Oh God. You know what? My my stepfather would watch Freddy Krueger, Jason, mm -hmm. all those scary movies, and and that one um, actor that always played um his voice was used in a lot of movies what was his name um god i can't remember back when it was black and white anyway my stepdad he watched all those movies and i was scared i did not want and whenever we would go into like because i grew up in delaware and there was always trees everywhere and you know forest and um wooded areas I would get scared because I would think that they were going to pop out from the woods and kill us. Mm. Um, so I was always scared of roads or anything like that. And especially if we were driving in the middle of the night because of his damn movies. Every time he watched those damn ass movies. And it Me was too, KK. Go ahead. No, I, I was just, I was done. I was just saying I was scared of those movies growing up. Mm. I can't watch scary movies. I watched them. Um, I remember. They go pray in Maine and spell on my daggone arm yesterday when I walked out of the house. You know, I wonder what it means when you got a pray in Maine that hangs out a baby door. Mm hmm. You'd think that would be something good, praying minus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. he doesn't like the praying mantis. He's closing the door in the back. His dog is thinking someone's coming in. Oh, has she got her new puppy yet? We did. We got our new puppy. It's pretty good so far. Um, I think she was. I think she was uh, beaten. Pray and minus eat their mate. 
Uh, Karen Montoya. Hello, Karen. How Hello, are Karen. you? Are you still on vacation? I saw something about you being on a road trip. What kind of dog? Um, she's mixed. So they say she's a lab, but she's a year old because we rescued her. So, so they say she's a lab, but um, I think she's got beagle in her because she's got the floppy ears of a beagle. Oh, what the heck? That didn't even staple. Well, that was very brilliant. May with me. Um, she's got the floppy. Oh, ears. guess where she just left. Pitcher Forge, Tennessee. Oh, you <laughs> should have stopped and seen Miss Penny. You that should have been stopped so and said hi. That would have been so awesome, wouldn't it have been? We all need to get somehow connected and meet. I've met like Nona, I've met Miss Carol, I've met Sharon Gray. Who else have I met? Oh, I met um, Barbara. Um, guys, it's windy here. I met several ladies. But it'd be nice to meet you guys one day. Some of you ladies. One day. Yeah, I've known Sunday. Vanessa for like her. since what? A, really? We've met. We've we've known each other, Vanessa, since what? Twenty twelve. Yep. Ten years. Oh, I met Paula. I've met Paula too. You've met a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've met Paula. <laughs> I'm already done with my projects, and I made my way back indoors. <laughs> I know. She's beat me. Again, everyone. I'm she the beat both of us. I'm the slow crap. I wonder if she left her... I wonder if she left her... Uh, but I got so far, I got this far on my little member. You guys get these, the file to cut these. If you leave a comment, join Vanessa's Pick group. Up on big screen. Oh. Hold on. Remember, you get the file. Did Young Sue watch anymore? No, I haven't heard from Young Sue in so long. I haven't. Um. So if you join Vanessa's group, um, if you've watched this video to the end and leave a comment at the end of this video and subscribe to her channel. So you got to do th three things. One, subscribe to her or join Vanessa's group on Facebook. Two, subscribe to her channel. Three, leave a comment at the end of this video. Actually, it's four. And four, say to the end of this video. It's four things. You'll get the file for this for free. You cut on your cutting machine. In the group. And, and you can cut it on your cutting machines. Um, machines, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Turned out great, May. They said. So thank you, guys. Yes, it would be cutting to few out tomorrow and play around with that SVG I'll share in V's group okay awesome yep so really cool these are cool she has okay. a lot of freebies going around in the group guys yeah yeah because like um so um, they gave out her file for free, and then this is going to be all I ask. And the same thing is uh, KK's asking is that you do not share the files. Hi, Karen. Uh, 
have May tell you what happened to her stepdad whenever she left her nair sitting at the bathtub. Oh, she was in here when she said talked about it. Oh, I thought she just got here. Karen, no, Karen she Montoya. Been in here from the start. <laughs> oh, okay. Karen Montoya. Oh, Karen Montoya. Oh, she just yeah. got here. Yeah. Oh, dear, tell that story again, May. Oh That's no. That's what I was talking about, Vanessa. You're trying to. You're trying to mess my mind up. So I wanted, I, I was in fifth grade and I wanted to shave my legs. And I asked my mom, can I shave my legs? And, you know, me being a girl and seeing all this nair stuff, I asked her if she can get me that nair thing um, that everyone was using because I was scared of cutting myself with the razors. And back then, you know, the razors, they were no joke. You would easily get cut. And I was scared of getting cut. So anyway, she got me. Scars. Yeah. I, well, I have a lot of scars in my legs from damn razors. That would take out big chunks of. Me too. Yeah. Mom said, what are you doing? Saving a home? <laughs> take out big chunks. So anyway, she got me that. And I made a mistake and left it on um, the, you know, we had the tubs back then. You didn't have showers. And so I left it. And in the tub, didn't put it away underneath the sink. And my stepdad, not knowing how to read properly, idiot, um, used it and <laughs> thinking it was shampoo and his hair, his lack of beautiful hair that he thought he had, started to come out. And, and he started to scream, Edie, Edie. <laughs> what does he say? It was his beard too, right? Yeah, and his beard because he he he. But see, the thing about my stepdad is, and the reason I know this is because we lived in one house, and he would he would wash his hair outside twice, and it was always he had to wash his hair twice. I don't know why he had he had to do that. Um, I don't know if he continued to do that, but. He washed his hair twice. He washed his beard. He had a big beard and it was all falling out. He had spots, locks of hair that was missing <laughs> from his hair. He had to shave it off. <laughs> 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 my, my love. <laughs> and he was pissed. This was a guy that had hair down to his shoulders. Yeah, down to his shoulders, and he had to cut it all off. <laughs> He's lucky he didn't go completely bald using that as <laughs> And he was <laughs> Karen, she said it was the only time she ever enjoyed getting in trouble. <laughs> And you know, the thing about my stepdad is he was always even combing his beard. <laughs> and he looked at my mom being front of him. <laughs> he had to shave his beard off. And let me tell you, he did not look right. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, my mom. <laughs> he she like texted him and broke up with him then, right? She well, she was married to him by then. Oh, <laughs> she was married to him, and she would say, "Oh, you look like a chupa. <laughs> a chupa is like a fish." Oh um, my god! <laughs> he looked horrible without his beard, and she would just laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> so dirty. Oh my God! She teased that man to death. He would get mad more. He would even get more mad at me. Oh Lord! What did your brothers say? Who my brothers? Yeah. Oh, my one brother. So I have three brothers. My oldest, um, of course, my grandmother raised, and um, three, three out of the four hated him. My one brother that was, you know, a butt kisser um, was getting on my case. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? What you, look what you did. <laughs> and he was he was drinking because he would drink a lot. 
And so that even made matters even worse. Mm. He was, he was, he was bought in and mom was like, and they're have- not very nice. Huh? When, they're not very nice when they no. get mad. No. Like, um, he was pissed. <laughs> at the time I wasn't I mean I laughed after the fact but then I got because I was getting my ass beat for leaving that out mom took his side because she said I was not being responsible you perfect as a passport huh KK says that the SCG would be good as a passport yeah that's what I did as a passport I think I'm going to probably I might make the square a little bit, little bit, just to fit those pictures from Tim Holtz. But I think overall, I mean, if you use um, acetate, which is what I did, hear that thunder here? Wow, we haven't had rain in a while. If you use, I cut my acetate two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and then I put two, and then the image inside to kind of lock it in place. Oops, I don't want that to happen. Um, so that's what I did, two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and I put the picture inside. <clears throat> Vanessa, you sent the rain over here. Thank you. It's not that, done raining here yet. That that was very nice of you, Vanessa. It was May, do you have a stamp missing like from that. your set? It made me hard even worse. I do. This one here, it's somewhere on my table because I just used it and I thought it was so tiny. The identification card, it's, so it's here somewhere. It's really, really tiny, and I wasn't going to use it because I used it up here. Well, see, this one's a lot bigger. I use it over here, and it came out kind of wonky. So it's buried in here somewhere. Did you hear I, me? I should peel them off, but I don't know why I keep putting them back in here like that. Everything. Oh. Yes, Miss Penny. Well, you already dropped something on it. I did. I did, didn't I? I don't know what you did with that stain. Is though. the is the stamp I'm right there below the glue gun? gun? Below your glue gun to the oh, right, to the left. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, it was here, and I I don't know what the hell I did with it because it's so t- it was so thin, and it wasn't. I was like, well, I'm never gonna use that one because it's too thin. It's somewhere in here. I think when I took my mat out, it might be in the other mat. I had another mat here, so it might be on that mat. It might be on that other mat. She lost it somewhere, KK. We gotta find it. Yeah. I know operation operation locate runaway stamp. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What did Paula write? Paula, what is that? <laughs> did you fall asleep on us, Paula? W R G U K. Okay, she's she, talking in tongues, but it's tight. Yes, she's like Joyce. Remember when Joyce would do that? <laughs> Somebody Writing. fell asleep on us, y'all. It's been three, almost three hours and 15 minutes. Oh, no, it hasn't? Yeah, it has. Nuh uh. Mm hmm. No. Look at StreamYard. I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> Girl, stop. <laughs> you see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be so we would never be on that long vanessa not know, us right? not it's us. only been an hour y'all my yeah. bad not you can't believe everything you see on the internet we we would never do such a she's thing got it. yeah baby she's got it <laughs> That is not in our nature to do things like that. You know what? I don't oh, care. They can eat that. my patucci. Oh, I don't want to eat your patucci. 
I don't want to do that, Vanessa. You can kiss my patoochie. Okay. I still don't want to do that. I'm allergic. <laughs> I'm allergic. <laughs> 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 there's no comeback on from that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was thinking you I'm crying. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> Get an epi pen. <laughs> I need a tissue. <laughs> Petucci? <laughs> no, I just laughed when so hard I had gas. Did Did you say did she eat all the sushi? <laughs> <laughs> no, she asked me if I ate her Petucci. Oh. <laughs> I hope she didn't eat your Petucci. That wouldn't be good. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> you people are too much. <laughs> Who? Us? No. Never. No such thing. <laughs> what is the scotch? My stomach is hurt. Oh, poor KK. You sure you don't have a backup? You didn't take any, any, um, you didn't accidentally get any x lax in your, in your coffee? <laughs> Yeah, I'm good on that note. <laughs> <laughs> I know two young girls that like to do that. I told my daughters, I'm like, I know what y'all do to me. That's I what said, they do with their allowance is go buy x right? Uh-huh. It was Carla's idea. And, I, and, and, and then the fact that they were like wanting to make my cousin coffee, like, <laughs> making her feel so special. Yeah, I'm like, you want to make her coffee, really? I figured she was full of shit, so they'll help her relieve it. She was full of <laughs> shit. So they, that's I think that's what my that's what Nani says. Well, we wanted since she was full of shit, we want to make sure we got it all out of her. <laughs> oh God! Does this lady have any children? Yes, my yes. I, I would never tell my cousin that I that my daughter said that. <laughs> no, no, I understand, but I was just wondering if she ever had any, did she have any children? Oh yes, yeah, she's got she's got um, older kids. Um, she's got um, my cousin. My cousin Miguel, who I follow on Facebook, don't ever tell him I did that. I didn't do it. My daughters did that. But I knew about it. So I'm a accomplice, I guess, you know, in some form. You should admit it. Huh? <laughs> I said you don't need to admit to it. <laughs> I, I, I plead the fifth. What? That's right. That's, right. that's, right. that's, that's uh, what, who, that's what who, Kate who? says. She always does. Who do that? Who did that? I don't know anything about that. Who be do that? I saw them. I went in and I said, what the heck? This is a little weird. And then made you stick your hand in it. No, that was her washing her. I didn't know her her, her clothes were dirty, nasty. That's nasty. That's so damn nasty. I would put that stuff back in my suitcase. I just can't, I could not imagine. I'm so. You I would know, at least throw them away, wouldn't you? Even <laughs> I would throw them away too. But you know I what I thought so about? In Cuba, they open up your suitcases. And they inspect oh my God. everything. I cannot imagine. I cannot even begin to imagine what those people were thinking when they oh, opened the suitcase <laughs> and the smell. Only I the wonder if smell. You, I wonder if they didn't find you all. <laughs> oh my God! I, I I hope my name because you know I put the suitcase. <laughs> 
in my name because I oh, hate no. I was like, oh my God, they probably thought that was my suitcase and my name is, they probably have my name pinned in Cuba somewhere. Oh, <laughs> she how embarrassing. They probably have my name. This woman has shitty underwear. <laughs> oh my Lord. <laughs> Yes, that was the part that I was embarrassed the most. I was like, oh, my God. I hope they will wear a mask when they open that suitcase. Oh, my God. You want to know what they thought when they opened up that shit. <laughs> I hope you took it straight to the landfill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, my thing is, why did you bring that? Why didn't you hand wash while you were why waiting? Did you throw it away. Oh. She could have just thrown them away. Lord, have mercy. But you know what? I thought you used all that damn ass water. You couldn't throw. You couldn't throw that away. You couldn't throw it away. All that water you were wasting. Yeah, she could have went to the Dagon bathroom at the airport and washed them. But as much water she wasted, she could have washed it while she was right. Right. Well, she was shower. Yeah, she could have washed that damn thing. I'm like, you are so disgusting. And she's like, I didn't have time to clean it because I just kept shitting over and over and over. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> like she only had one pair of underwear. <laughs> no, she, luckily that I have to tell you, she she has this thing, and now I can see why. But she has this thing about her underwears, her bras. She brought a whole suitcase full of, and now I know, now I understand why. I think it's because of her whole shitting problem. Her issue. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was the water. <laughs> and it wasn't. She just has a problem. <laughs> yeah, and now I see why she brought so many. Because I thought, why in the world do you have so many damn ass um bras and underwear we're only gonna be here for two weeks she brought like literally the whole freaking drawer in her room but she has an obsession with the whole at walmart oh i had mm -hmm. she brought mm -hmm. one for she could she could use two or three a day mm -hmm. now i know why probably because she shits herself and she's probably over there. She's putting out my dirt. I hope she doesn't watch her channel, Vanessa. That won't be my problem. <laughs> I ain't the one that told the story. <laughs> I see. You're not she gonna did it. I can defend me on this one. And she's gonna say, she's gonna say, hey, what my fault? It was my friend Penny. She's the one that was causing all that trouble last night. I was just telling her. <laughs> Penny told me to do it. I'll be like, I don't Penny know who that, that person is, but that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having my back. I was back. under the influence. I didn't mean that not said. Okay, hey, you're not a very good supporter. <laughs> no, oh, she's, me. Got she's got my back. She got my back. KK has my back. She said she uh, it was not. She said it was not that May. Not that May. It was another May. She got to be able to prove it. Yep. Hey, if you can't prove it because you can't see the face. <laughs> That's Vanessa true. said, I'm not taking one for the team. <laughs> That's true. You can't see my face on here. No, but you did show a picture while ago. Oh, I showed my face, didn't I, huh? Yeah, but she might not watch that part. She might skip over it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess it's two people that can't watch this video. The P the company that decided they wanted to sponsor me with some crappy ephemera. <laughs> well, in that case, that is the name. <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> it's not a fembra. 
a theme rock. Penny, did, were you on here when you when I showed that? Yeah, yes. I was. I said, tell them that we laughed at you. That was right. That's some. That was some joke, man. Tell them I was also willing to uh, auction off my trash can. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'll put that part. Send it to you. Can send it to them. One of them even said her toilet paper was prettier than that. Oh, that's right. That's right. Well, not just that. Did you know you can use stamps on toilet paper and it'll leave the impression? I mean, come on. It's got like multiple uses, just not yeah, for me. You can embolic it. Though. <laughs> Marcus said the story fits. <laughs> you must have quit. <laughs> I plead the, the fifth. Thou shall not lie. It was not me. <laughs> You was just repeating what somebody told you, right? Mm hmm I don't know who that person was. Rosie who? <laughs> Rosie who? Road versus <laughs> Wade. <laughs> I don't Rosies know. These are red. Wallets are blue. Her pants is full of shit. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> and I say tears. Literally, literally, her pants were full of shit. Carla and Baby B got a laugh oh too. They were uh, they were cracking up. Those girls were horrible. I was like, y'all are bad. <laughs> what did Eric say? Oh, he couldn't stand her. He was like, that entitled bitch. I can't believe she goes to a third world country and she acts like she's entitled like that. <laughs> I mean, what did he say? He, the girls see, doing that. But see, he's the one that offered to, you know, take her. Because when I told him about, you know, she was going We're through depression and all that, he's like, "Oh, I'll take her with you, and you know, we'll get her up, get her, time. get her a plane ticket, and you know, show her a good time, and blah blah blah." When he heard what she did, he was like. I felt bad that she ruined your trip and for suggesting her, her for you to take her with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I should tell him you owe me a trip. Mm -mm. He owes me a trip. Can Eric Larson. Says, well, can't say her crap didn't stink. <laughs> her shit didn't stink. <laughs> She literally thought her shit didn't stink. Oh, and when I told Cuba what she, how her suitcase, because she said she kept. <laughs> She kept saying, "Gosh, she shits a lot." I hate to say it, but that's medical. <laughs> she was kind. Your cousin shits a lot. <laughs> I bet they run out toilet paper. Bless her heart. I take. I took toilet paper with us. I always take toilet paper. But yes, yeah, she was going through the toilet paper really fast. <laughs> what was the point of even wearing clothes? <laughs> she spent the whole day. I don't think they want to see that, KK. <laughs> she felt entitled to it. <laughs> I go. I went out. I went to go to the store because they had a moped, and that's how they they don't have a car. So I had to go and um <laughs> you <on> a moped. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> i had i had to go and get pick up some stuff um you know to eat <laughs> so I the, the guy and he got me in his little <laughs> yeah i look funny <laughs> anyway um when i come back and i'm going up the stairs to their house my cousin <laughs> i guess my cousin <laughs> <laughs> she was in the hopper, and by then she had already plucked every nerve that poor lady had. And the lady standing in the top of the stairs with her hands in her waist. She goes, "I don't know what she ate, but she's been shitting." <laughs> and she's, you know, because they had this. From six to eleven, they have their water running, and they collect buckets. And you know, they have this big thing in top of their their roof. 
full of water and then they collect these other buckets anyway she goes she's been shitting a lot and i mean a lot (laughs) (laughs) and i said what she said i don't know what she ate but she said that way she ate uh guavas she was eating a lot of guavas she is i think she needs to she needs to stop eating those guavas because they're doing the normally guava constipate you and she goes, she needs to eat, stop eating that guava because I think the guava is making her shit more. <laughs> it's either that or I told her not to drink the water from the, from the faucet. And she says, it's either that or she's drinking that water. <laughs> she's shitting a lot. <laughs> Read so, KK's comments. Okay. <laughs> <it's, it's, laughs> And she goes, she goes, um, I don't know where she's putting those underwear. And when I got here, I told her, I know where those underwears, they were in her suitcase. <laughs> oh, God. Penny Oh, my God. I can't believe she did that. I was like, that is so disgusting. And the freaking shit was going through. A her. lot. <laughs> <laughs> she was shitting a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever that's if not I ever, me, Norton KK. That's me. <laughs> if I can ever, ever, ever get her to somehow or another call her while from on WhatsApp and call her on Cuba. Hi, Mortis. While we're live. Uh, so good night, Lulu. Her, good night, Lulu. So she can tell this story of um her guest. <laughs> Oh my lord, yes, that would make it awesome. I'm gonna try to see if she will come in on YouTube and and tell tell her special guest. Tell us about her her visitor, her visitor, yeah, special guest, her special guest. She says, "Don't." She says, "May." She says, "I love you. You can come any day, any day for as long as you want, but please don't ever bring her back. <laughs> don't bring her back. I don't want to see her ever again." <laughs> oh God. Now, now, let's start with the underwear. We're first under a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> she made that poor girl every time can you add more sugar can you add more milk and then when she asked for eggs i looked at her and i said are you effing kidding me i said do you want me to go lay some eggs i told her i said do you want me to go to the backyard and 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 shit out some eggs for you (laughs) i said because (laughs) there is no eggs here girl told you there's no Mm -hmm. such thing as eggs in this country well there is but they're expensive I'll take it back. There is eggs. They're just hard to come and they're expensive. Wow. Things that people take for granted. Yeah. You took the words right out of my mouth, Penny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, with her popping in. I've never, yeah. I've never been to a place like this. Where did you bring me to? And I'm like, girl, you grew up poor and you live in. A... And when I showed her how she lives, the girl in Cuba, because she tried to act, I have four degrees and this, I'm like, girl, please, you are a high school dropout. <laughs> <laughs> where did you envision, where did you print these degrees? Because you are a high school dropout and everyone in the family knows that. And she's telling this in to Cuba and I'm looking at her like, and that she was a ballerina on TV and she Are told you kidding like, me. No, but she told her this not in front of me. She told it to her while I, I was drawing. So the girl was saying, Was your cousin on TV a ballerina? I'm like, What? She's got four <laughs> degrees. And I'm like, I said, She told you that? I said, The girl's a high school dropout. I said, My um, goodness. That's a lot of said, by TV, a by TV, if you mean that she watches a lot of TV, maybe that's the pro that's, that could be it, but no, she's never been on TV. Um, and then she goes, um, oh, so guys, I, t- I did tuck it underneath the panel instead of in the back. Like I thought, 
um, just make sure you go right around that edge of that little thingy so that you have the ability to pull it in, you know, tuck in those little cards. Um, so anyway, she goes, um, well, she's telling everybody that uh, she was on TV, that she danced for a big company. And I'm like, really? I said, well, she said it while I was not here. I said, because um, that is not. I don't walk in there and ask her, say, well, what company did you dance for? Well, I did. I said, when did you go dancing? I said, I, I, I didn't know that my aunt or my grandmother afforded ballerina dancing classes for you because uh, we were poor. We, we were all poor and you're from the same family. And she goes, I did, I took, I was on TV. Ask your mom. I said, oh, I would love to ask my mother, but did you forget my mother's dead? <laughs> oh my Lord. And she goes, but there's I was, no record of it, woman. There is no, <laughs> there was no record. There was exactly. Anyway. Um, yeah, she told him all kinds of fibs when I wasn't when I went out. May it's not a fib; it's a flat out lie. <laughs> well, yeah, true. <laughs> true, true, true. It was a flat out lie, but um, she got away because they didn't know her. They didn't know who the hell she was. Mm -mm. She got away with saying some damn ass lies because I wasn't there to say. It's uh, hard telling what she's told them about you. Oh, uh, I'm sure she probably said all kinds of stuff to them, but they know me. They've known me for years. Right. Um, uh, <laughs> well, they, they say that I was stuck up and this and that, and I'm like, stuck mm -hmm. up. I'm far from stuck up. Oh, look, the little envelope, the little mini file folder goes in that pocket. I didn't even know that. So you can look at that. KK's probably laughing her butt off over there. She looks like she's a laughing. <laughs> my cousin was a mess, a hot little nasty mess. I have never in my life been so embarrassed in my life. I tell you, never. That tab you were trying to use, if you just slim it down a little bit, it would be perfect there. Cut the sides off of it and then slim this it down. One? Yep. Cut the um, sides off and then slim at the bottom. Just so that way it takes up a little bit less in the back. Oh, so that it's not covering up the tip. Yeah, take different. off the sides and then slim it down. Yep. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Look, y'all. And then I would put something on the back of that photo just to hide it. Make back it blend of, in. The photo? Yeah, the photo to put in there. I'll put something on the back of it to hide it. Make it blend oh. in. Oh, you mean to put something over the lip? No, 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 no. The photo. What photo? The photo the on the lip. <laughs> the picture. The photo the on photo. the lip. The back yeah. of the photo. No, nope. well, keep going. It's on the front. Yeah. Photo that's on the front of your folder. Yeah, we'll put something on that to hide it. Oh, to hide the plastic? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There. Yeah, that. That thing right there. She was, Roger. In, the, she was in the moment. Roger, <laughs> Roger that. Roger. 10 4. 10 4. I hear 10 4. Buddy. What's your 10 80? 10 4. I hear that. 10 80. 10 4. 10 4. What's a 1080? I don't yes. know. What's, that's your whereabouts. Did you forget? What's the codes for what's a 1080? It means where I don't know. You, you call me. Is that call your home or a crazy person? <laughs> Is it? There wasn't a code for call your home. Oh, 1086 was call your home. What's the crazy one? Okay, I didn't ask about the break and entry, but what's the crazy one? 5150. <laughs> <laughs> so they're smiling. He said signal 86 is, six is a break in. Well, what's is this signal here? Well, means 300, code 300 is. What is your location? Oh, code 100 is crazy person. 
Oh, they're, they're wow. different everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, is. Apparently. Over here, Seven just a physical crazy person. <laughs> Ten fours acknowledgement. Except so. for 911. 911. What's the number? <laughs> What's a 911, y'all? 911. <laughs> Nine one one. Let me find something for here. Maybe I can put another image there. You know what? What? No, what? We're gonna cut this. What? Kick keeps keep popping in and saying stuff. Yeah. yeah. She's a pop. She's popcorn tonight. She's funny tonight. She'd be hilarious tonight. I'm going to send my cousin over there with her dirty panties. I'm like, the hell you are. <laughs> <laughs> Rotten bloomers. Right, so she can do those dirty. I'm gonna make sure my big gate's locked. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be standing out there with your gun, huh? You're I'm like, like, oh, Mister Sunny, you got the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be calling on one hundred over there. <laughs> yeah. uh, signal one hundred. Signal one hundred. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be two by the time you get here. <laughs> no, toilet paper's expensive. Wait a minute. She don't use toilet paper. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, she used toilet paper. She just had diarrhea. She just well, used May's toilet paper that she took to the people. Yeah. That's well, that toilet paper failed her big time. No, she just had really, she she had the shit really bad. And I guess she didn't make it to the bathroom not once, not twice, but several times. She have y'all have y'all done my it? Brother, she should have just asked my brother what a pad was for. <laughs> <laughs> have any of y'all done that test where you have to drink that stuff to get a colon colonoscopy? Yeah, well, that stuff is nasty. I'm fixing to this. I got to go to the doctor on Thursday. And I'm going to tell him I can't drink that crap. I can't do it. Well, you know, uh, Eric did his colonoscopy. Um, I, I don't know. I can't. I don't think I could drink it. Eric did it, and it was. They have uh, it flavored now, though. It's still sh yucky. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Penny. That is the most unpleasant thing ever. I'm not going to do it. Just don't leave the toilet. Don't be. Don't be a. Can't stone. Yeah, I mean, right next to me. Yeah, that works harder. And I have I have my mom's toilets, but still, I can't drink it, stuff. I'm, I know I can't. I just, I, my stomach, I can't do it. Okay, I gotta tell you guys something. So my co, uh, Miss Miss Carrie says she's tried it. Um, so my that's what I was trying to tell you all. What? May asked me, what happened to the doctor today? And when I told her, oh, my Lord. <laughs> you could hear her laughing all the way down in Texas. Did I ever tell you about the story about my aunt and the um, OBGYN? No. So this is towards the end of my mom's life, right? Just before she was about to pass away. My aunt calls my mom, her, her her older sister, calls my mom, and she tells my mom that she um, was very embarrassed, the one in Puerto Rico, of course, that she doesn't think she could ever go back to her OBGYN. My mom was a very funny lady. Like, even to her, her dying bed, she was hilarious. Um, she calls her and she tells her she went to the OBGYN and that... Um, the doctor, you know, put her up, had her legs up, and when he went down, she farted. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Body told her, nope, not today, doctor, not today. <laughs> So my mom not, not today not today when she tells my mom that my mom said you did what and this is this is probably because i went to see my mom in in august of 2008 so my mom called me right after this was before i was uh, uh september uh, august of 2008 so that had to be around june so she was not yet you know losing her mind she was a little bit comprehensive so you know to the point that i didn't realize what was going on with her health <laughs> that bad but she goes and she tells me she says you're not going to believe what happened i said what what happened mom because she would always call me um during that time that we were separated because she decided to go to uh live with my brother back to delaware um she goes you're not gonna believe what happened i said what mom helped what happened she's just i got some cheese made for you and i'm like why she goes so your aunt goes to the OBGYN and just as he's about to go down <laughs> and um, do his perform, you know, do his checkup, <laughs> your aunt farts in his face. <laughs> <laughs> and he got up from there, walks out, and tells the nurse to go spray that off. <laughs> I said, what? She said, she burned in his face. Oh, my Lord. Oh, oh. He was so mad. He walked out with the hallway and told the nurse to go and sprint in the bottom. And my aunt was doing this. She didn't know what the hell to do. And she hurried up, got dressed. She said she didn't let him finish the exam. He didn't even want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> and she said she left that place so fast that she got there. And she didn't want to ever go back because she was so embarrassed. I'm like, well, fuck, I wouldn't even want to. Who the hell wants to go back after that? Oh my <laughs> like, lord! Going back, you know. Double pink eye, double pink eye. Poor doctor gets a mouthful of methane gas, yes, yeah, and then could farted. possibly get double pink eye. Mm. <laughs> so she farted on his face. I, 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 I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Took the whole new meaning in your face. Yeah. <laughs> get some disinfection in there. <sighs> yeah. He had to have the nurse come in and spray down the place. And my aunt said she got stressed so fast, walked out of there. She said she never wanted to go back. I said, why would she even want to? I said, I would, I would definitely be changing OBGYN. <laughs> it's going to be in her file. Caution. Patient tends to fart in your face. <laughs> the patient is toxic. <laughs> biohazard biohazard material comes out of her ass this patient is fully loaded be careful <laughs> double shot double shot gun. oh god that was my aunt just like Melissa would partner with Ghostbuster it would be even better if it was the front and not the rear <laughs> and you know what's so sad is that when I went to Puerto Rico and saw her uh, that's all I kept thinking was my mom laughing on the phone telling me this cheese me. And I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. I could never think of her like like just I couldn't picture her the right way again because I just kept thinking of her farting in the doctor's face. <laughs> <clears throat> that poor girl, she gonna be traumatized and scarred for the rest of her life. Carrie. Calm down, Carrie. Just calm down. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you can check that off of the unwanted bucket list. <laughs> I'd be like so scared to go to the OBGYN doctor. I think I'd probably have to say nope. There is no uh there's no um what do you call it? Pat smear for me this year. <laughs> Let me tell you, let me, let me tell you, <laughs> my cousin, she delivers blood, 
here in the area or she goes and picks up blood you know and uh-huh. takes it back forth but anyway she works with this idiot and <laughs> him and his wife was at the doctor's office and uh, uh, she was at her cheek OBGYN or whatever you call them mm-hmm. and uh, she had a procedure done and uh, her and her husband was in there and the doctor told him he, he said he told her he said no 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 foreign objects in the vagina and he said that's all right doctor he said mine's american made yours american what oh, mine's american made <laughs> <laughs> and she said she went out, she went under the table. <laughs> you got a little mark that says American mood. Only in America. <laughs> no foreign objects in the vagina. Oh, Lord. He said, it's all right, Doc. Mine's American. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Made in America. <laughs> why would a doctor I don't understand why would why would you knowing that you have a doctor's appointment decide oh I'm gonna go ahead and stick a raisin in my can. oh my god do they not realize hey the doctor might find that coated raisin oh that's disgusting there was a girl that went to college with me and when I was in Puerto Rico she was a disgust like she went to college with me and several of the girls but she was the most disgusting human being ever when i mean the most disgusting human being ever she was she was addicted to sex oh, and Lord. she yep she would do they the, call them uh, it's a uh, she would do the craziest crap when I see the craziest crap, so one day we go out, and her name, and sorry, KK, I have to say it, and Karen Montoya, her name was Karen, Karen, her name was Karen in Spanish, Karen. Well, we go out, we come back from a night of going out, you know, party, and she comes out of the room, and she looks startled and we say what's wrong with you she says <clears throat> don't ever try this and we're like do what and she goes don't ever try try what i just did she says i just had the scare of my of the lifetime and we're like what happened she went and grabbed a hot dog yeah and she thought she got it stuck <gasps> mm-hmm. yeah exactly that that's exactly what I, i'm like what the hell is wrong with you oh my <laughs> i said what is wrong with you i said you're sick Ooh, that's nasty <laughs> yeah. i'll never want to eat a hot dog again <laughs> <laughs> she, she tried a hot dog <laughs> she was just making it spicy Oh. Hey. And she says, she says, I, I thought I had to go to the emergency room because I thought it got stuck down there. And I'm like, you are disgusting. <laughs> she, she needed some help. Yeah, she did. She need more than just help, y'all. She needed Was help. Was it beef or pork? I didn't want to ask her that. <laughs> oh my God. No, she didn't ask me that. <laughs> oh God. Who asked that? <laughs> oh, sorry. Does it matter? <laughs> top grade. Obviously, it wasn't top grade because it nearly broke in her. <laughs> Was it Oscar? <laughs> Probably oh. was Oscar. <laughs> Her baloney had a first name. <laughs> My baloney had a first name. 
S O I C Y L R. We need to change Saturday to spicy Saturdays. <laughs> there were a lot of in that. Warning. This video is rated R. <laughs> Paula said I've never won. <laughs> That's me. Don't want much, <laughs> makes you not want to eat hot dogs. No. That's what I said when I walked in and I'm like, well, I have to tell you, I, back then I was, you know, a virgin. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my god and the girls go um she's addicted to sex and i'm like and you would put a hot dog up your crotch because you're addicted to sex oh, <laughs> no no he's got a name y'all it's oscar meyer Hey, don't mess with my dangling. <laughs> dangling a ling. Do you guys remember when Jerry Pecanoli, you guys remember that news cat news anchor? That I was in middle school when that news broke out that he put a gerbil up, you know what? Uh, oh Lord. His hoo-ha. They said that about our meteorologist here too. Really? Yes. Well, I wonder if it was true about Jerry. Hi again, May. That looks great. Oh, they, oh the cut file. You want the cut file? Abs she says, was it a cut file or a dot? It was a cut file that I designed, um, Patricia. Um, I'll make sure you get the file if you want it. <clears throat> Lord have mercy. What a night. <laughs> Oh, what a nine. 19. What was in our song like that? Help me out here, Miss Nineteen. <laughs> Something. Oh, what a nine. Okay, there we go. Look, look, look. There we go. We can uh, probably put something here. Says, Disco. Disco. Nine. Disco. Nine. Up. <laughs> Whoever, who has ever gone to a disco? Disco. I used to go to the disco with my, my sister when she, when she was a teenager. I don't know. I'm too young for that. What are you oh, talking about? I'm too young for discos. It was the first time. I had fun going to the disco. Well, so the question is this. I've gotten to disco with watching Soul Train. Oh, I watched the Soul Train. I did too, yeah. Me too. I the closest I got. I watched it. Yes, I'll make sure you get it. I'll make sure you get it. So there it is. Look. I can I need to put something right here though. <clears throat> oh what a night. December back in 69. Oh, see, I don't even got the rest. I thought it was 63. No, 69. Thank you, you Miss Carrie. It was something like oh, that. 63, okay. Thank you, Miss Patricia. It was when? Oh, 63. It was one of those years. Either way, I wasn't born. So it doesn't matter to me. I wasn't born. Late December, back in 63. Vanessa, I wasn't, I wasn't born either. What? what? Oh, that's right. You weren't. I was born 65. All right, here we go. Isn't that cute? You got your little card here. You're the last man standing. 
Oh, what a night. <laughs> to love you. Oh, see, I don't have a rhythm. I really love the way it turned on me. Oh, thank you. Was she, she going to sing that part? <laughs> I know. I, I can't remember. I don't have, I can't remember the lyrics. I told y'all I can't remember crap I like that. Lyrics is in know. chat, my dear. I, but I, I It's not that it says, oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. To love you. Oh, to love you, dear. Oh, what a night. To want you, dear. Oh, what a night. To kiss you, dear. That's why I love you so. I, I can't get I the I don't sound right to me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I looked it up. I uh, know. All right. So there's that one. Remember, you have to join Vanessa's channel, subscribe to her channel. There's something mm -hmm. missing. There, yeah, because it says, oh, what a night. Late December, back in 63, right? Something like that. <clears throat> I was young. Uh -huh. Da, 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 da. Oh, what an, I don't know. All right, we got to finish this one here. This one, I got a little wonky here, so I might cover that up because, you know, I don't like I don't like things to be looking like that. So we might just put overdue here because she's overdue for um, <laughs> her, her, uh, uh, her, her passport is overdue. <laughs> well, she's overdue well, for a well, pet that doctor, I'm going to go see. Yeah, she's over uh, uh, overdue for a pep smear with her OBGYN. Y'all, y'all see the mess. Here we go. I found the right one. Oh, did you find it? I found it, but they won't let me copy it. Oh. Uh, well, just read it to us. Well. Oh, what a night. It's late December back in 63, right? Something like that? Uh-huh. What's the next words? I don't know. Oh. Uh. Vanessa, you're no help. Come on, girl. We got to keep that beat going. Hang on. I'm trying to find the right lyrics. I had it, but it disappeared. Oh. Frankie Valley is the one that sung it. Who? Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Hmm. Tell me again where that pen is. Play it on your phone. It's 75. Hold on. Can we play it? Music, you're not you're not um, monetized, mm -hmm. are you? Still, they can still copyright me. Even though I'm not monetized. Well. He be sweet surrender. Wait, what a lady, what a night. Oh, I got a funny feeling when she walked in the room and my, <gasps> do you guys remember, what's that one song that I was seeing on TikTok and they said that, you know, you would sing it all the time and you would have not known what they were talking about. Oh. What was... <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't know that. I didn't realize that's what they were meaning. That's the one. Um... Oh, was crack. It? I know the song you're talking about. Was it? I know the one you're talking about, but I can't. Um, I saw it on TikTok, something that I'm like, what? I didn't realize that song meant that. Electric slide. Yes, the electric slide. Yes, it's about, you know, you know, you know, you, 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 you know. <laughs> and if, if you, you don't know. know, you know. It's if you know, nasty. Know. It's nasty. It's, it's, yeah. The electric slide, Miss Penny. Imagine now. The electric slide. Yeah, okay. Well, now, now you know what it means, right? The electric slide. Uh -uh. I'll tell you when we get off of here. Oh. It's. 
it's pretty gross and i did not know that and i'm like what now I, i'll never look look at it that way again when i hear it yeah for real you learn a lot of things from TikTok. <laughs> for real for real miss penny read the the chat on um facebook Oh, a wonderful life. Wow. Mm. Yo, we've been on here for four hours. <laughs> and who's keeping track of that? Not me. But you're the only one crafting right now, so... <laughs> I'm only gotten two projects or well, not even I, barely two, barely, just barely. I two. got all, almost all my elements ready for next week. <laughs> do the journal. Go ahead, Miss Penny. Laugh. What did you read? Tell us. Inquiring minds wants to know. Oh, I just read what? Oh, I wasn't reading. I was just. Vanessa said I got my stuff ready for next week. Oh. Oh, I thought you were reading what Vanessa sent you. Oh, I read that while ago, yeah. About the electric slide? What yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the nasty. It's nasty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you seen a parent's face when they heard that song, right? Yes. <laughs> I was like, "What? Yep. I never, I never learned that." Everybody's doing the electric slide. I never learned mm. that that dance. You know why? Because I have two left feet. When they're going right, I'm going left. When they're going left, I'm going right. <laughs> <laughs> I can never get it right. And look, I can. But the true meaning of that song is really bad. It's sexual, right? Uh-huh. I've heard that one. The wind farted, so they got to bark. He farted? I say that because they, they bark at anything. The wind, car drive by. Oh, that's how, well, that's how our other dog was, the one that passed away. Mm-hmm. He'd be like that too. Ms. And Paula wants to know what we need for next week, May. Paula wants to know what we need for next week. So next week, Miss Paula, if you want to make the journal that I designed, which is this one, I can send you. Let me know so I can send you the file. So you, if you don't have a machine, Miss Paula, this is what we're gonna make next week. Oh, and I know what paper I'm going to use, too. Yeah, we're going to make this next week. <clears throat> you ready for that, KK? I sure am. I did have, a, I did buy the stuff to make a clutch. A clutch bag, but I have that file that I need to get, you know, some of you ladies on it follow through because not everyone has the stuff to make you know a clutch mm -hmm. I mean everyone has a bag um, and I got this this is what I got to make my clutch I got this at Hobby Lobby and I think I think I paid three something mm -hmm. for placement can you send me the file, please? I'm I will. able to print. Okay. 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 So are we, so you're making you're making so we're gonna, no, we're gonna make that file. Oh, okay. So I thought about doing that clutch, but then I said no, we got to do the file because I had already said we're gonna do the file. Can you send? Yes, yes. I already read that. It's uh, lightning here, guys. Hmm. I sent her the rain. I have those same little pouches. 
I got this at uh, Amazon. I think it was like twelve dollars. Yep, Amazon for twelve dollars for uh, forty of them. I think. Yep. I got that one. And I got the four by six. Mhm. Mm we can also put this in here, but see, I t I printed this out, so I had I not printed out, but printed down here, and I like my print. But I'm looking for the other little card that I pulled out of here. See, that's how you keep track of your projects. What? Mm -hmm. Put them in the little pouches. That's how I have them. I have a big. This is how I set up mine. Okay. Oops. Okay. Wrong thing. Wrong screen. There it is. I had. I had it in this pouch. Wrong I pouch. I haven't this one yet. Let me see. This is how I do my projects here. So you don't need... And I have them in... Whoops, let me move my keyboard before I start typing. Well, I was sitting here talking. I was like, you showed us or you going to tell us? Because I don't see you. I see May. Okay. <laughs> Here's the 12 by 12. Then I put the 9 by 6 and the 4 by 6 in here with all my stuff to do my projects with. <laughs> yeah, I like those bigger ones. I used to get them in the Hobby Lobby. When Hobby Lobby had them labeled as uh, Paper Studio, but they got a little bit uh, slick and stopped marking them as Paper Studio, little slick ricks. And now I can't get those big ones. Oh, you can put that there. You could have put Ms. that Penny, did you fall asleep? No, I'm here. <laughs> I'm going to go to here. Over here. Or you can do this over here. I just had to put my phone. I got up. an idea, May. Hmm. Put that on the inside, your little frame. Uh huh. Distress it, and then right there in the center, do your fingerprint. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea with vellum. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. See, this one? Idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, so let me. I got to distress this because I thought I distressed them, but I didn't. This one is the other card that goes in here. And then that card, distress, and then use like fake information, a fake name, their age, and where they're traveling to. Yeah. Stamp the airplane on it. That's supposed to go there. So you can pull it out. You're going to Dubai. Who's going to Dubai? I don't know. Whoever that passport is. female. Oh. A fake person right there. She's going to Jamaica so she can get herself a, a little. Was, no, no, Greece. What was that? Mama Mia? Ja mama, Bahama, yep. come on, pretty mama. Mama hey, Mia. Tiago, Tadigo, whatever. <laughs> I know the song. Down in the Florida Keys, there's a place called Mocono. Mocono's. That's where we want to go. Down to the pool. Why is Lourdes going to sleep all of a sudden early? That is not like you, Lourdes. She went to sleep early. No, she did not. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Uh -oh. When she's going to watch the replay, she's going to get you. Mm -mm. She went to sleep too early. She was boo knocking, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Watch her come back. Watch her be around here watching. Mm -hmm. She's probably see. listening to you. She's saying she's like only in my dreams. Only in my dream. As easy it may be. It was only in my dream. Oh, only in my dreams. Oh, my foot just locked. Your foot fell asleep? No, it locked. Mm. I got a muscle spasm. Mm. And it hurts. Miss Penny, how old are you? So you said you were born in 1965. You're six years older than me? I didn't think you were that much older than me. Miss Penny? Yeah. Get the shut, of 65. shut the front door. I was born in 67. God, am really? I the baby here? I think yep. you yep. are. I think you is. How old are you? I'm 44. I'm oh, my oh, you're God. Baby. You're the baby. I'm the grandma of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> No way, Miss Patricia. You're 65. No way. Oh, I'm 44, but I feel like I feel 65, Patricia. <laughs> she was born in 65. Oh, oh, I was like, what? I thought she was saying she was 65 years old. I'm like, no way. And I just 58 in August. Oh, okay. Well, she just turned 58. That's right. We she had a birthday week. I got you. Year 65, age 58. Gotcha. Who's 65? Right, now I got, I got all this liquid on my thing, and I got to make sure I get more stuff out of here because we can't waste that stuff. This stuff is gold. Get some library cards there, and dial. Hmm? Yeah. Put some library cards in there. True. Or I can just. It's okay. Double dip. Did you ever find that stamp? No, it's probably in the other mat that I had. I, I'm almost positive. That's the stamp right there to the left, right below the good gu glue gun next to the cutting mat. Down. No, down. Look underneath all those papers right there. That's not the stamp right there. Mm -mm. No. no. It looks like it, don't it? Guess I'm the oldest. Yeah, I see it. Underneath the papers, May. Yeah, I know. I'm almost positive that's it right there to the left. It is. Look underneath the papers by the glue gun. Pick up all the papers right there to the left. No, down below the cutting mat. Pick everything up below the cutting mat. Oh, no. What is that? Is it the end of your table? Keep going. This is a glue piece of glue. No, right next to your hand. What's under the white? Well, a little bit more to the left. I wish we could like draw on the screen, but like right here, right there. This is just the, the table peeling off. No. Oh. Hang on. I'm gonna do something. Hang on a second. Yep, that's that must be on her floor. This here's my floor. Okay, yep, okay. That's her floor. Okay. Yeah. Born nineteen fifty five. Told you, I'm the I'm older. <laughs> oh, now my stamp set got wet. Who's older? Margaret. Paula. Oh, Margaret. <laughs> Margaret. 
Nah, you're just young. You're young still. You're 65 years younger. 68 years younger. You're born at 58 at heart. I think Miss Patricia is what, 69? How old are you, Joyce? I know you're in there. I know you're here, Miss Joyce. <laughs> Under. When drying, place a cloth under the paper. It will create moisture behind the paper. A cloth? To absorb it, yeah. When you're heating up, it'll get like moisture behind it. If you put a cloth underneath it, then it, it won't be wet. You mean like a paper towel? Like a paper towel? Or like one of those uh, fiber towels. It's wet. Yep. Yep. Nailed it. Nailed it. You found what? Said, uh, nailed it. Nail. Good movie. Yep, that was it. The age is a number. You can't let it define exactly. I don't claim my age. I, you know, actually, I deduct a year. I'm actually 50 years old instead of 51. I'm about to turn 51 in December because I take it away. COVID stole a year from me, so I, I claim a year back. <laughs> Who stowed it? COVID. Uh, we couldn't do anything during COVID, so hey, I want my year back. Right. Well, it's almost two years. You identify as 21? I do too. That was the best time. The best time ever I saw. Or actually, the first time I ever saw your face. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a believer. Oh, let me ask you guys this question. Okay. So I'm 53. May oh, you're, you're, that's right. You were telling me that. You're the same. We're almost the same age. I'll be 52. 52. Okay. So my coworker, you know, that pain in the butt one, she came in supposedly late um, because her daughter, her teenage daughter, um, her boyfriend, was talking to his ex-girlfriend on Instagram. And so she was upset, the daughter. So she wanted to go back home because of that. And she wanted to beat up the boyfriend and his mom, the, the my coworker. And I'm, would you guys get involved in 15 years? I mean, it's not the first time. It's not going to be the last time she gets her heart broken. What do you guys think about that? I, th I told her, I'm like, why would you get involved in a 15-year-old that's crazy. I understand that's your daughter, but I, it's not going to be the first. Stay out of it. Yeah. And it's kids. What does the mom do her. that she's frightened the mom? As long as they don't come around and start hurting She didn't do anything. She just thought that she should get involved because that was her son and she didn't raise her son, that her son was cheating on her daughter, but that was because he was talking to his ex girlfriend. And I'm thinking, this is 15-year-old bullshit. You came late to work because 15-year-old bullshit? Let kids be kids. Let them fall in love, fall out of yeah, love. It's like, are you serious? You, 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 you're going to use that excuse? No guns, as long as there ain't no knives, she's all right. That's what I said. I'm like, <sighs> not just that. He, they're both young, and they don't know what love is anyway. Love is. Like, I'm like, um, did you not learn from your other daughter that got knocked up at 15? You're going to let this one, uh, 
Yeah, worry about her 15 year old boyfriend and him talking to another girl uh, it's not gonna be her first boyfriend it's not it's not gonna be the only boyfriend the last boyfriend i mean there's gonna be more after this i just think she used that as excuse you need to try to teach her to stay away from stuff like that right you need to teach her not to be doing things you know Okay, now where's my teacher? She's better than somebody cheating on her. I just thought she needed to teach her that, you know, there's plenty of times for boys in life. Right, right. There's, there's, she needs to have other things on her mind. Yeah, there's no reason why. Um, None whatsoever while she's worrying about what a boy's doing. I'm definitely not be fighting. And her as a grown ass adult should have not even gotten involved in that crap. Well, evidently, she don't have any. Uh reverence to any adult or she wouldn't be wanting to whoop, whoop up on his mom that was just the ghetto talking in her that's who does that as a she's 35 years old the only 35. time i would fight another parent is if that parent threatened my child or touched my child that's the only time now right I'm for a 15 year old thinking they're in love let kids be kids let them handle it themselves stay out of it yeah it's not gonna be the first it's not gonna be the damn ass last time your kid falls in love it's 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 kids you know kids will say the darnest thing kids will do the darnest thing and i just thought my thing was okay you came to work late because of that I thought it was an excuse. That's what I I saw it as an your ex, it was an excuse a poor, shitty excuse actually. I gotta get these out of my way because I see them and then I'm thinking I'm done with them and I'm not. Guys, look, KK made two full big projects and I'm still over here I'm still here all right we need to stamp on that take care of the machine do hers for her though right <laughs> thank you Miss Penny for 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 having my back yes but she had to glue it the yeah she had to choose pipe choosing papers hard she was so fascinated with what i was doing she didn't have time for her own projects yes that's right thank you kk i was very fascinated by it all i wish i had that notebook one because i would have i should have gotten that one but I should have, would have, could have, but I didn't. Because it would have been nice. I to think have Vanessa fell asleep on us. Vanessa, are you snoring? Uh oh. Vanessa's snoring. I first, I first of all, I wouldn't have had my daughter be dating at fifteen. That's that's way too early for that. Yeah, I agree. That's that's right. That's exactly what I thought. I'm like, why is your daughter um, dating? Like, did you not learn from your other daughter who got knocked up at a very young age? Shoot, I was 18 before I got to go on a date, and my brother had to go with me. That's what they used to do back in the day. The first time I started dating, when I was 18. Um, he would have to come and visit and 
he would sit on one end of the couch. I would sit on the other end of the couch and somebody sat right between us. Which was a good thing. I didn't really like him. <laughs> I hated his ass. I only dated him because my mom wanted me to date him because he was, according to her, a good catch. <laughs> She didn't know what you knew. Huh? I said she didn't know what you knew. Oh, she thought he was a good catch because he came from a good family and had money and this and that. And I hated his ass. I could not stand him. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's because he reminded me to, he looked so much like my brother. Hey. And he was like obsessed with me when i say obsessed i mean obsessed with me he wanted to marry me and my mom was ready to marry me off mm. he was ready to marry me off to him i was like uh-uh you ain't married i ain't married for that sh i ain't ready for that shit yet you would have been in prison huh You'd ended up in prison if you didn't marry well, something. The funny thing about it, that whole thing about her is because I was a senior and we were supposed to get married before my before I graduated my senior year. Because my mom thought he was such a great catch. And he, he convinced my mom that we should get married before I graduated high school. And I was like, no, I want to finish high school. And my mom was like, no, no. I think it's a good idea and then you can graduate and go to Puerto Rico and blah blah when he told me the plans of what he was planning on doing is he in order to get up to the house that his parents own you had to go up in a horse on a horse on a horse and I said oh hell no and so where was he from Puerto Rico. They his family had money. He they did have money, but they had a piece of property that um that they had given him because he was all about horses and things. And you literally had to go up on a horse. So where did he go? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that did not, that did not suit me. Well, I guess it's better than riding a jackass. Huh? I said a horse is better than a jackass. Oh, my mom loved that boy so much. Oh, she adored him. I hated his ass. I was happy when they sat right between us. I was like, yep, keep on sitting right there. I bet you act like he wasn't even there. Hmm? I bet you act like he wasn't even there. I would. I, I, I would treat him so bad because, I mean, I wasn't interested in him. Carrie says she sent you a message to me. I treated him so, 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 so bad. No, you're right. I saw that. I'll tell you guys later what I saw that. But yeah, and then you know what he ended up doing? So I broke up with him my senior year. Um, I broke up with him and because uh, we started dating my junior year because I was eight. I, I was 19 when I graduated because I got held back a year for my not speaking English. I broke up with him and he um, he said I got a I went away to a thing for school, came back and there was mail for me and I looked at the mail. And I'm like, mail? Oh, man, see, I screwed up again. How the hell may? Well, maybe I can just, yeah, we'll do it this way. And so 
I'm such an idiot. We'll have to stamp over that because I wasn't thinking I stamped it before I put this in, but anyway, I guess we won't be putting that on there. You it's can always cut it in half and just do the or, top part of it. Or I can put it in the back. I could put it in the back. But I went on a, a thing because I was um, president of an organization in our school. And we went out to this little thingy. of, And when I came back, there was mail for me. And I'm like, mail? Who the heck sent me mail? I open up this manila envelope and down came the flakes. And I'm like, what the heck is this? And when I saw it was pictures torn up into pieces and I started flipping. I'm like, what the heck? These are my pictures. And I didn't realize my mom had given them pictures of me. Oh, damn it. And so because I would never give him pictures of me. I wouldn't, I didn't, I didn't. Mm -mm. And he wrote me, a, I'll never forget the words. They stayed in my head for the longest, forever actually, since then. He says, not all women are made from the same mold because some give more than others. And I, at the time, I'm like, what the heck is he trying to say with that? Years later, we ran into each other because I was in college and, you know, he, he came by where I worked and to see me, I didn't know it was him. And then he drives up to, I was working at McDonald's. Sorry, let me put my finger in there. Is it, no, is it the thumb or the, which one is it that goes as ID? Is it the thumb or the it index? It could be thumb or print pointer. Okay. Anyway, he comes up, drives up, and I, you know, you get that weird feeling like something's, something's weird. So he drives up and I, I felt it, that he was, that was his voice was too familiar. And sure enough, it was him. He had gotten married with this girl who was 15 years old. So he actually had cheated on my ass, which I didn't care. <laughs> And she was 15. They had a child, but he could never stop thinking of me because I was his first love. And I'm like, uh, yeah, it was your first love that you went and cheated. And um, when you went to see your family and you had gotten this girl pregnant and now you're with her, I'm like, wow, you, you really love me, huh? And so anyway, he said, well, I wanted to marry you and then you could have come up here. And he said, but... You know, Destiny didn't want like that. And so she found your pictures and um, I had to send them back to you. And I'm like, well, I never even gave them to you. And my mother did. Carrie says she sent you another pet, uh, message, but it sounds like the girl, the second girlfriend tore up the pictures. <laughs> Just saying, females. Yeah, do. yeah, yeah. You're right, Miss uh, Carrie. Um, so yeah, well, he had gone for the summer. Um, that summer of my senior year, just before I was about to go to my senior year, he had gone to Puerto Rico, and I think that's when he got her knocked up. And then when he went back, found out that she was knocked up, and he had to do the right thing. Yeah, he ended up marrying her. So when he came back, I was in college, um, my second year of college. And um, he would still chase me. And I would, I, I told him, I said, I, I don't do men that are married and I don't do men with babies. And I definitely, if I didn't like you when I was in, in um, 18, I definitely don't like you now. Uh, Vanessa says we will end at 12:40 in a minute it gives you a minute well and ladies i didn't finish it but i'll finish it off camera but this is what i made and then kk want to show what you made 
because I'm not set up anymore. I'm actually sitting in my bed. Oh, you're in your bed. She'll show pictures in Vanessa's group then. Yeah, I will post pictures. Pictures. Yep, yep, yep. Well, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to well, leave a nobody comment. Nobody told me I wasn't on camera. Really? <laughs> we thought you were snoring. No, I'm talking and all of a sudden I'm like, really? Why am I not? Why are they not hearing me? I forgot to add myself back to the camera after I had to restart the room. We're thinking you fell asleep. We're like, she she's snoring over there. What? <laughs> it's on recording. No, it wouldn't be because I would have had my mic off. <laughs> Smarty pants. Well, I want to thank everyone for coming and their support. Ladies, thanks for joining. Mm -hmm. um, we will see you next week on May's channel. Mm -hmm. And I will be leaving the chat up so y'all can go back and get all the links out of it. Um, we will see y'all next week. Thank y'all for watching. Please like, share, and comment. And if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Mm -hmm. Bye now. Bye. 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 Bye.